Good evening. <laughs> it's eight o'clock. So it's time for my live Monday night zoo. Um, I see if there's a few people here. I have to turn the sound down on my phone. Hello, everybody. This is Anna, Vintage Jewelry Galore. That's for new people. And welcome. This is a live buy it now. So can you hear me? <laughs> this is Anna, Vintage Jewelry. Um, yeah, it's a, uh, a live buy it now. So for a few auction items, not many. Um, I think I have two items that will be auctioned. Then I have an item I'll show that I didn't show. Actually, I have quite a few that I didn't show in a preview. Hi, Vintage Kath and Lori. Hello. I said hello to you through text. Tina, hello. Nora, that is Lady. I mean, whatever, Lady Sylvia. I'll just call everybody by their name that's in here if you don't mind. Hello, Sylvia, uh, Tina, Kath. Hello, Tiny Deb. <laughs> and I have a Tiny Deb back here. Look. Look, it not makes. Well, it's, it's Rudolph. Look, I look like I've got on my um my hippie clothes today. Look like my mother. Hi, Elena. Isn't it cute? It's a tiny Rudolph, though. Um. Hi, Polly. I have some good things. I added a few things. Um, I'll show the Art Deco next. Well, it's an antique, early Art Deco. I have a um, Marcusite necklace back there. I'll show that too. Um, I added some stuff. And who else is here? All right, I'll get started about 10 after. And it'll be done. Um, hi, Denise. Hello, jewelry binded Denise. How are you doing? Okay, how I'll do it is um, it's very comfortable. It's so big. It's almost like a dress. If I had to put pants on because I'm going to be on camera. I don't think you guys want to catch a glimpse of that. No, actually, it's long enough to be a dress. Hi, Irene. It really is. It's very comfortable and big, and it's rayon. I only, I wear, I like rayon, silk, certain, and cotton. That's that's about it. Um, hi, Pam. But anyways, what was I saying? I'll wait to say what I was saying. We could talk for a few minutes, and I'll give the details. Hi, Becky. In case anybody new comes in. I'm really close to the camera. I think I'm, like, less than 24 feet. It's very comfortable. Yeah, I'm about 25 inches, not feet. <laughs> 25 inches from the camera. It's really, really close, but maybe I should move back. That's all right. My arms are short, guys. T-Rex arms there. Hi, Kathy. <laughs> Sorry. I'm tired. I haven't had much sleep. Um, I feel a little delirious. The trays look good, though, I think. There's a variety of things, and it's mainly costume, um, vintage costume, which is the good stuff. So um, I have a couple of This, I don't know if this is a Whiting in Davis or a unsigned. It's unsigned. It could be a Whiting in Davis as well. I was researching it some or another name. Um, Whiting in Davis or Godet probably. It's unsigned. But it's Marcus Seitz. I don't know if Godet does Marcus Seitz. Do they? Does anybody know? Anyways, it's unsigned and it's five inches and it's marvelous. Reverse Syntaglio Cupid in uh, Venus. But hi, Gina. I was I did learn that today or yesterday. I don't remember which day. I did research everything the best I could. Some things can't find. Yeah, yeah, I like joking about myself. It's funny. I mean, to me, it makes me laugh. Um, I like to laugh. It keeps me sane. Hi, hi, Teresa. T. Marie was you happy with it? I'm assuming you are. You wouldn't be sad. <laughs> I'm glad it came safely. I don't think I've ever had a lost package yet. Hi, Leonor. Not yet. It happens. I, I know I've heard of stories, but it's never happened to me. Yet. I'm glad it arrived safely. I did get bigger boxes too. Did anybody get their necklace? Sylvia, you did your necklace in that giant box. Um, they're nice. They're not pretty, but they're very um. They're very nice. Oh, good, good. Sorry, I was just teasing about myself. Um, it makes me laugh. That's all. Nothing like I'm not putting myself down. I just thought it was funny. That's all. I did. I, you know, I've been working on that. Um, am I, are you saying I'm happy or is it, <laughs> now I'm getting paranoid? All right, guys, I'm gonna start at ten after to buy it now. A couple of auction items. Really, just two, I think. That'll be a buy it now if I offer it. It's nice though, did you guys. It's
it's sterling marcasites. Um, it's a lava layer. If I pronounced that right, don't you know? I'll put the pronunciations in the chat. I don't like that. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you honest. Um, it's a lava layer, I believe. It's early Art Deco, is what the, I had someone help me that I trust. I'm not gonna give their name because they don't need that. But I believe that that's what it is. It has an old. Well, I'm trying to sell already, right? I'm letting it start. And it has an older, an old class one. So oh, it's 1920s, early Art Deco, right? All right. Did I miss anybody? Hi, Wendy. Yeah, thank you. You know what I use? I went to a Chinese restaurant. I know I have hair things, but I love chopsticks. I need sticks, you know, for my hair. I um, I went and got Chinese the other day, and they had some chopsticks. So there you go, wooden sticks, and they were free. <laughs> they work fabulous. They're, like, really good for pulling your hair up, these sticks. I have Japanese lovely ones, really nice ones, but I need to get more. I don't know what happened to them. But did I say hey, hello, Janet? Thelma? Hi, Thelma. Thank you for coming. Lori, hello. I'll start at 10 after, and then I'll... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump around all over the place. Um, obviously, with stuff. Um, these are pretty cool, too. Well, never mind. It's all time to sew yet. I'll wait. Do you see these spoon end earrings? How cool they are. I've spun more online. I've never seen them before, but I was able to locate them. <laughs> so there's such thing. They do work great in the hair. It's just amazing. So all I did is like pulled it up and like rolled it and then stuck the sticks through it and it's done. That was like a matter of probably a minute. <laughs> a minute time to pull the hair up. I'm not I'm not high maintenance. I'm sure you can tell. I mean, it's all right. Never really had to be. <laughs> no, but anyways, um, unless I was going to the office, but even then I didn't like put tons. Of, I don't like makeup really, although I do have it on. I don't like it much. I don't think any woman likes that. But oh yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I was trying to figure out. I did change, so I I don't know how to change it on here. Doing a sale on on Streamyard. If you can actually set your chat to, uh, for like only if people are subscribed for a minute, I don't know if that's a possibility. Um, oh well, I'm not gonna worry about it. I did, um, yeah, I do too. I, I actually, this is nice. I think this is well, here, I'm on the cells right now. Now, can you see the made in France bread? I believe that's celluloid, it's very light. But it's cool. I bought, I have a glass one too. I kept one of them. I figured I'd sell that one to see if anybody wants it. I have a lot of hair accessories. Every time I go to a, um, an estate sale, I go and look through their hair stuff. And yeah, I've been picking it up. Or to thrift stores. Found a couple of new consignment stores. I found one that, um, that it's an organization for, um, sex trafficking. They, they help, um, they, they don't get to take donations to help prevent it, you know, to fight against sex trafficking. It's a great store. I found some good things in there. That's where I found that and a few other things. But it's nice. And it's a uh, it's, it's much different setting than a place where you go where people are ripping your face off. I can't stand that. Hi, Robin. How are you doing, Robin? Did you, didn't you, did you get your item yet? Let me think about it. Did everybody get their packages for me? Whatever. If you ever don't, you won't let me know. Yeah, so I ended up spending a lot of money. I got to baby a giant duck. Let me go get the duck and I'll show you how big this thing is. It's huge. And then we'll get started. Don't anybody leave. This is like the biggest rubber ducky I've ever seen. Look at it. Sorry, guys. I know it's a jewelry sale, okay? Look at it. He's huge. Um, he just started to crawl the baby. So I'll put this across the floor from him, watch him um, come for it. Pete, somebody did sign off too. Someone else is going to get a duck. No, I'm joking. Okay. All right, I'm going to get started now. 
All right, I'll get started here in right now. Yeah, it's a big duck. It's huge. It's probably like eight inches, not eight feet. Yeah, baby, I love them. All right, let me get started to sale. I'm sorry about that. Um, what was I saying? All right, this is a buy it now sale with a few auction items, probably two or three. So what I do is I give the details of the item um, as much as I know about it. And then I type a buy it now, buy it now and a price in there. And whoever comes in first gets the item. Um, that's how that would how that goes. So um, I say the price afterwards. Yeah, eight feet feet would be funny, wouldn't it? But anyways, um, if you're new here and you've never bought from me, just email me at vintagejewelrygalore at yahoo.com. And um, I need your PayPal email address, the country in which you live, and your YouTube name. I need the country in which you live so I know how to do the shipping um, fee. And uh, PayPal actually obviously has your address if you have an email address, so you don't need to give me all those details. Because um, I do use PayPal shipping, and that's the predominant payment that I accept unless you're a customer it has been, you know, I've had for a while and they change up for some reason. I will accommodate that if I have to. I also hold orders if there's a small amount because I have a sale on Thursday, too, at 12 p.m. Eastern time. It's thrifty Thursday. Most of you know about it. And I price things from 5 to 30, and I bring I bring things that are worth a lot more than that um and sell them I, I don't know how else to describe that but anyways um I try to I do price them too believe it or not because some of them end up being overflow from the past but let me get started here things that didn't sell in the past I'll get started I'm gonna start off with a buy it now I'm gonna start with this I thought this was super cool it's a all right is everybody ready it's a girl laying in a boat with a beer with the sun hat on and she's fishing. See the oar? It's pretty cool. It's really well made little brooch, little pin here. And I don't know who it is. I didn't research it a whole lot. It's a D with a copyright. And the fish are articulate. They move. It's about a two inch brooch. I'll give you a measurement. Why not? Um, or I can show you for on my me. It's a little over two inches. It's like a two and a half inch drop down. You can't really see it on there. But it's really cool. And this is a buy it now item. She's a little sunflower on her hat and everything. It's pretty cool. I try not to move too fast. I know I do move really fast sometimes. It is well made. Yeah, it's really well made. Might be better made than JJ's. Now, I don't know who the maker is. Though. It has a D back there. But see how they're like literally up inside there, wedged in there. But. Irene, you want that? All right, thank you. Thank you, Irene. Congrats, it's really cool. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna try not to move like a mania. Um, it's Melanie's here. Hello, Mel. Did I miss her? Hi, Mel. All right, so Irene. Pretty. One boot. Okay. Thank you. Right. Well, happy birthday to your daughter. Hi, Christina. Hello, Cool Girl Vintage. Okay, let me move onward. Um, I'm going to do this. This is cute. Well, not another brooch. I have a lot of brooches tonight. They're nice, though. I mean, all brooches are nice, but um, they're just a lot of inexpensive ones, too. But why not? Um, hi, Jeannie. These are mice. I don't know if it's supposed to be another one, and these are two of the three blind mice. I don't know why it reminds me of that. But look, they're cool. They're about an inch and a half. They look gold-plated. I do not know if they are. They're not perfect, but they're old. Red enamel, black enamel, gold tone, we'll say, because I don't know the content. I didn't test it. And they're a vintage brooch. So, for Elaine Aubrey. Okay. All right. So, for these um, two little mices, mice, not mices, the mice. Um, do I really have to look? I guess. I feel like I'm out of sync a little bit. Okay. They're really cool. And they are, for both of them, they're 12 bucks. $12. Did I put that in? Yeah, look. 
kind of cute. Little mice. I don't know the exact year on them, but they are older, maybe, I don't know, 70s or something. You think that's two of the three blind mice, maybe? I don't know. Just two mice. All right, we'll pass on this. That's long enough, right? If anybody pops up and says that I ain't, well, we can have them. We'll pass on the little mice. Um, the frogs I have to hold off on. Not that anybody's dying to see them, but they, I got to make sure the content in the middle. Um, all right. How about, uh, how about these? Hi, Dawn. Oh, you want them, Jan um, Janda? I think they're two of the three blind mice. I could be wrong. Thank you. All right. So this is for Janda. Thank you, Jan Janda. Or Jeanette. What do you want me to call you, Janda? Oh, perhaps. You're right, Jeannie. They could be. Yeah. I didn't think that. They're not dressed differently, though. Okay. Um, all right. Sorry. Let me move on. Janda. 12 for the two mice. Now I'm going to show these earrings. I don't know if they're zuni. I they look like it, but they're inlay and they're sterling silver. And you can give me a whole weight on them. Case okay. they're not real heavy. They're not real light either, though. So they're not going to be over four grams each. They're probably like two grams each or something. All right, they're three and a half grams each because there are seven combined. You're you're right. Yeah, yeah. Probably they probably would be wearing the glasses. Sorry, I can hear in the face. All right, let's move on here. Let me move on. All right, they're three and a half grams each. They are mother of pearl, cor not, yeah, little piece of coral and turquoise, mother of pearl and onyx. And they're not signed, but I tested them. They could use a white back there. You see, they have the patina. Um, okay, I'll call you Janda then. Hopefully, it's already. Right. Well, you said it was. Okay, let me show you guys these. Hello, Vicky. Hello. You're new here if you haven't if you haven't bought just register here um if you're you know you may see something you're interested in um my email's there i just need your paypal email address youtube name in a country in which you live so i know how to do shipping okay so and thank you welcome these are um sterling silver are you new maybe you're not even new and i went through a whole introduction <laughs> I don't recall seeing yet, so I did. Okay, so the earrings here. Let's move on with the earrings. Um, they're inlay. I looked them up, so let me see. Um, okay, sterling silver inlay of the four that I mother pearl on its turquoise and coral. And okay, all right, thank you. These are about three quarters of an inch. Yeah, round, little. They're well made. They're a nice little earring. Let me put a price in. Thirty-four for these ones. Yeah, I think they're nice. I'll show you that in a minute. I don't know what it is. I've had it for a while. Okay, Lena, thank you. I've had it for. I sold one to somebody. I think Carolina. Are you here, Carolina? I think you're one that bought it. I had another one that was in a little bit of better condition, but I liked the stone in this one better, so I kept it. I don't know what it is. It kind of like changes colors like that. See? Like, it's nice though. I like it. It's one of the first rings I've kept for myself because it was damaged when I wasn't not to, oh, like, well, let's put a sad story and Anna couldn't afford to keep jewelry. <laughs> No, but I'm serious. I really could it. So I kept this one because it was damaged. I love it. I don't know who the maker is. It may have gotten worn off or, um, oh, all right, let's, let me get serious here. But yeah, it's pretty nice, I think. I really like it, even with the damage. Okay, Alina, thank you. These are nice earrings. I'll send you a little pink cloth with it and we get it out now because I forget. Look, I have these tiny little silver cleaning cloths. Or do you want me to clean? Oh. If you don't mind wiping them yourself. Um, or I can clean them and still send it to you. All right, thank you. I bought like 50 of them and I keep um, forgetting 
to give them to people when I want to. Yeah, I mean, it's nice. It's a nice ring. Nobody can tell it's messed up from the front. So, all right. Thank you. All right. Let's see. What's next? How about I'll do something from Joan Rivers. This is a nice bracelet. Okay. All right. Thank you, Alina. This is Joan Rivers. It's in the box. Joan Rivers Classic Collection has her little card. It's explaining what the Classic Collection is. And this is the bracelet, and I'll take it out of there. It's supposed to look like coral and maybe mother of pearl. Yeah, that pendant was fabulous, huh? That was probably that, and the ring looked like they belonged together. I don't think they did, though. I didn't see markings on one, but the stone looked the same on both. That was, an, that was a really nice pendant, but it didn't have a name on it. I was surprised. Look, this is brand new, gold-plated. Joan Rivers. It's pretty nice. You have like that little work there. That's a heart, I think. Is that a heart? Yeah. Well, some kind of design. But this is acrylic um, or plastic or loose site. I don't know what it is. I'm going to be honest. I didn't go read. I did have the box, but it didn't tell me. Um, <laughs> it tells you about the plastic collection itself. Let me look for the maker's mark on this. So I would expect it to have one. It was in the box with the card and everything. Um, I don't know. Is all Joan Rivers marked? I thought it was. Oh, it is. It is. Here we go. It is all marked right there. Joan Rivers. Most of hers is, or it has one of those hang tanks. Yeah, I think on this one, yeah, it's really nice. I've had that. It's one that I kept. I could not keep it. <laughs> All right, let me measure some, put a price, but thank you. Um, I need to find a tape measure. Oh, I dropped it on the floor. Give me a minute. No oh, mind. It's way under the... Yeah, it's a nice Joan Rivers um, bracelet. I'll give you a measurement, and it's a buy it now. Sorry, um, I can remember what I decided. Okay, it's a fold-over clasp. It's marked Joan Rivers in the back. Eight inches in length on this. Let me make sure that's right. Probably is. This is more modern. They make them a little bigger. Um, yes, yeah, eight inches. It's nice. It's a fold over clasp that's really firm and good. Gold plate. It's brand new. It's Mark Joan Rivers under, like I showed. It's eight inches. Comes in a box with the card. And for that um i will charge if anybody's interested for this it's a buy it now of 28 dollars it's brand new condition it, it came in the box looks unworn like i said it does have the um the marking in the back. Okay. All right, Christine, let me fasten it back down in the box. I can just ship it in this box with a little tissue paper over it. All right. Thank you. And congrats. I'm sorry, Barbara. I, I have more Joan Rivers. This, this was the only bracelet. I brought two pieces. I'll probably bring the other two next week. Um, all right. I actually have a little pair of earrings too, but all right. this one's nice. Okay. So this is going to Christina. Thank you. 28 for the Joan Rivers. Okay. Um, Thom, I still have your bag. If you happen to get something, I'm sorry, you know, because the... I have a couple of people. Thom, I, for, I actually forgot to invoice you. That's my fault, but I did it a day late. Sorry. But, um, so if you get anything else, I'll ship it out. If not, I'll ship it out. Obviously, I'll do yours tomorrow morning. Um, if not, I was waiting because... All right, what's next? Oh, that's, oh, oh, that's nice. Okay, how about a necklace? No, oh, well. This is the Princess Diana necklace. This is Monet, 1980s Monet. Okay, let's see. Um, 
um, I'm gonna call it, it's white plastic, acrylic plastic. Swirls, you see the designs in there. It's really in good shape. And thank you, Christine, congrats. It says Monet with the copyright, you know, 19, it's 1980s. Um, you can tell by looking at it, right? I'm sorry, I'm not gonna explain the maker's mark on it. I mean, but it, it's correct for that. And it's marked, hello, Carolina. It's marked back here, Monet as well. For, well, it's a Jayhawk and it has an extender on it. So I'll give you the minimum and the maximum, you know, the shortest and the longest you can wear. It is a, okay. So 20, um, 18 to 20 in, is that right? Wait a minute. It just seems like it should be. So this isn't a real short choke. Well, it's 1980, so it wouldn't be a choker choker. Um, yeah, 18 to 20 inches. All right. It's nice. It's in good shape. There's no scratching, no fading. This looks brand new also. This is 1980s. And let me show you. Did I show you the marking in the back? This is what it looks like back here. There's the wrong one. <laughs> There's the mark. I think I showed you. It's nice. The links are nice. It's well made. Look. It's not going to fall apart easy. It's not like cheap. It's weighted. Um, I'm not going to give you a weight. It's not gold, but it has some weight to it. Looks like gold. Okay, it's Monet. Fabulous necklace. All right, let me see what I, I did have to. I researched this someone, but I'm going to tell you what it's. People are all over the place. Some people go crazy with stuff, um, with the pricing on things, I think. So for this, if anybody's interested, I'm going to do this at, at $38. It's fantastic piece of jewelry here. 1980s Monet. It looks brand new. The gold's um, really in good, the gold plating's in good shape. It's not faded at all. And it's not scratched. Water tastes yucky. All right, I think that's a pass. Let me move that. All right, I'm going to pass on that one. Right. Add on. Okay. Um, these are cool. I don't think I did earrings yet. Okay, these are sterling silver, like spoon ends. I tested them. They are sterling. They're about a two inch drop. It doesn't show you, does it? Whatever, I'll hang it on here then show you. So my hand will be out of the way. It's a good idea, right? There you go. They're about an inch and a half, two inches. So you can see it drop. And they are sterling scratch, and it's a good solid line. So for these, if anybody wants these, I'll do them for 28 I mean 22 not 28 $22. Little spoon ends. I didn't see a maker's mark on it anywhere. Hi, Emily. But they're cool. I'm really shaking this around. I meant 20, but I said 22. Oh, well, it's only $2 difference. If anybody would want them at, well, whatever, 22 is fine. I'll pass on them. I um, I need to look at my list. doesn't matter. It's only 2 bucks. All right, I'm going to pass on the little spoon ends. Somebody pray. Um, yeah, they are unique. There are some, a few other pairs online. Not many, though. They're cool. Um, they're pretty neat. Did I show any necklaces? Yeah, I showed one necklace. It didn't. Um, I'll do this one, Sterling. I don't have much Sterling with me. I never really do. It's not something I source really. Um, if I find it, I do. This is nice though. 
this is sterling silver and um that's blue topaz and amethyst and it's like it's twisted i weighed this um it's 23 grams this is a my the, the necklace and that piece this is myler italy it's signed 925 myler italy and it has for me ivory like on these longer ones it's for me It's a nice chain. There's the class. It's worked my my literally, like I said. Um, I don't know if I saw Maker's Mark on this little thing or not. Um, well, 925 up there, that's all I've seen. It could use a better cleaning. I I did wipe it, but okay. All right, so let me give a measurement and a price on this. The pendant is like two inches there. We'll give you a drop and then hi Tanya. The blue, this, this ring, what blue ring? Um, 11 and a half inch drop and it's a total of 19 inches around the neck. What blue ring? I'm sorry. I didn't bring any rings. I don't think I might have a blue ring. Um, that or this, I'm not selling these. They're mine. I've started keeping things. <laughs> I'm going to keep these ones for a while. I like them. Are you talking about this one? This one I showed was all beaten up. Yeah, I'm not going to sell that one. Um, I mean, it's beaten up on the bottom, on the back, under carriage. All right. So this is Sterling Silver 925 Miler Italy uh, with some Vermeil on the links in between. And 925. Um, this is Sterling Silver. I tested Amethyst and uh, Blue Topaz. I know it is pretty. I don't know what it is. It's some kind of glass. Okay, so let me put a price on it. I did kind of hard to re um to research something like okay, Vicky. Well, I maybe I am what was oh you want those earrings? Okay. That's I'll just I know what you're talking about. I'll put some in a bag for you. Thank you. All right, let me get sorry, I guess I shouldn't do that, but I am. But <laughs> hopefully nobody minds. All right. Um <laughs> there we go. I have to keep it on top of it, or I won't do it. Too. I will forget. All right, this twenty-three grams, few, uh, amethyst and blue topaz and my lordly chain, which I said fifteen times. Um, so for this, it's a really nice chain, my lordly Italy. You don't want that then? All right, Vicky Ressler. Okay, I didn't put them in a bag yet. Even if I did, that's fine. You want it? Okay, okay. All right, I'll, I'll put them in the back of it. Let me put a price on for this. This is, um, I don't know, 48. <laughs> it's cold. Okay, I will put that in the bag for you. I think it's your first thing. Sorry. I don't know if this really matches the chain. I just stuck it on it because I had both of them. It's not like it came on it. Um, especially if the Verme, but I think it works. Well, I don't know. All right, let me put that in there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. Thirsty. All right, I'm going to pass on this, I think. Did I wait long enough? I think so. Kind of looks like an anchor. <laughs> it's not. It's some kind of weird twisted up shape. All right, I'm going to pass on that one. Okay. All right. I can't see about these glasses. I'm going to do this now. Look how adorable this is. There is a lag. It's I've almost like a 20 seconds. It still hasn't shown up yet. There we go. There's a big leg here. All right. If anybody pops up and wants it, they can have it. This is Estee Lauder um, Turtle Compact Perfume um, Compact. I looked them up online, and I saw a large skew of pricing going on there. Some people were extremely high. Um, but not everybody was. So I priced mine accordingly to what I found. Um, in my research of what was out there. 
you know. So Estee Lauder, it's, it's no longer of the perfume, and it smells nice, though. And um, this has, like, sparklies through it, kind of, you know, but it's a it's a plastic acrylic type. There's the back. He's about two inches. Let me tell you how big he is so you know. He's two inches. It's adorable. 1990s, I think, 80s or 90s. Um, I didn't write that down. No, I didn't. Okay. So, two-inch little Estee Lauder uh, turtle compact. For this, I'm going to put a buy it now price on this of... Nobody really said they were interested, so I'm not going to offer it. Actually, I'll just put a price on it. Um, Forty-six. It's really cute. There's a little Estee Lauder. There's a space. Yeah, you could use this for um, put pills in there. Small pills, yeah, would fit in there or other things. It's pretty cute. I think he's cute. It's really tiny, though. I mean, the, the opening inside of it's pretty small. I think, I mean, you'd have to have, like, small, small, like, heart pills or something in there. Or anxiety medication or something. All right. We'll pass on him. All right, let me see. Um, how about... Hmm. Yeah, I've had this one for a long time. Hers is different. Hers is a saffron or something like that. This is not. I've had this for like... Uh... I don't know, since I started doing videos here on YouTube. But I mean like six, seven months actually, not the full time. I've been on her a year in February. Or yeah, it's kind of the style, but Gina's is a sapphire. This is not this is some kind of like rhinestone or something. I don't know what this is. All right, let me move on. It does it. Hers is lovely. They they look the same like this, like design, but I don't think it's the same content. All right, I have a pretty little brooch here. Um, look, it's rhodium plated. Hi, Ashley, in the back. And it's in really good shape. It's in perfect shape. It's, um, this is vintage. It's fully pronged. I think the coloring looks very nice on it. That's how it would be hung. Well, you can hang it any direction you want, actually. It's very, the colors are um, lovely. There's no fading. I mean, no, the stones aren't dead at all. Looks very crisp. All right. So for this, I, um, let me see my, there's nothing you really compare it to. Um, just a little brooch. But anyways, if anybody, it's like two inches, maybe a little over. Let me give you a measurement. Yeah, it's two and a quarter. And for this one, I will do it for, um, For that for 25 if anybody wants it it's a very lovely brooch there's the backing it's well made the construction is very good on it and it looks brand new there's two holes for breathing um of the two larger stones i believe all right irene 25 for that it's very nice you're gonna really like this I said 25, yeah, 25. All right, thank you, Irene. Congrats. Right, let me put Vicky in here. Vicky, did you say you've emailed me? All right, if not, email me. I, I can't recall if you said you did or not. 
There's, I gotta find the oh, I mean iron. Got the lady in the boat. All right, thank you. All right, thank you, thank you. Wait, let me get dark. What next, guys? How about this? This is a dark. Well, why another? Well, I have a lot of brooches and a lot of berries. More than necklaces. I have this, though. Look at this, how pretty that is. Silver thread. If this is 925. Not that. This piece on that. And it's encrusted with crystals. You see, there's the bale's large. And that's glass. It's nicely carved. I like you can see. <laughs> cool. Okay, it's it's nice. It has some gun around it and it's silver thread has a precious metal class. This is 18 inches in length and total of 10 hit half inch drop. 18 inches around the neck. Let me make sure it's right. Yeah. It's really pretty, I think. It came with a little bag. There's a box here, but there is no lid and there's nothing on it. But I have a little bag. I have velvet bags anyways to put things in. But I don't know who to make. Oh, actually I do. It's World um, Wide Trade, I think it's called. Um, Worldwide Imports. Silver Thread and Sterling Silver. Necklace. You see all the crystals on it encrusted there it says 925 on this and i tested it and then the glass it's pretty nice it has crystals going around it in this silver thread all right let me put a price in um i figured a price for this okay this is um it's 28 dollars Yeah, yeah, it's very nice. Hi, Laura. Thank, congrats and thank you. It's very lovely, actually. It's thread, but look at it. It's very elegant. It would look nice with a turtleneck, I think. A nice one. I don't like turtlenecks, but actually, in the winter, I'll probably be wearing them. <laughs> the hide what's going on. Um, hi, Kirsten, underneath there. Um, <laughs> so, it's ain't that an aging turtlenecks become your best friend? And I am getting old. So maybe I will start wearing them um, when it's cold enough out that I can handle it. It's warm in here right now. But I do. My fan's not too noisy, I hope. Congrats, Laura. It's fantastic. You're going to like it. Inside of it's a little baggy. I'll package it better than that. Um, okay. I said 28 on that, right? Yes. pretty organized considering um um if they have to be like comfortable ones i don't like a skin tight turtleneck myself can't stand it um how about a bracelet how about the bakelite are the bakelite people here that like a bakelite that like a bakelite this is a uh yeah you can smell it i tested it too it smells like formaldehyde when you rub it or put it under hot water. And when you test it, it turns a cigarette type of nasty color of yellow. Um, but this is burnt orange. Kind of looks coral. It's Bakelite, though. Let me measure it across. This is a buy it now as well. And All right. It is... Two and, yep, I know you do, Dawn. There's a number of people that like that. Yeah, you can smell it. I can, this one, I can, a lot of them you can smell just rubbing them on against your clothing or whatever, making it hot, putting under scalding hot water, and it smells like uh, formaldehyde. All right, so this is like two and three quarter inches, two and a half, basically. Um, look, 
see all the room in there. Can you see that? Yes, God, there you go. So I guess, I don't know how big of a wrist up to, if it's almost two and three quarters, probably up to an eight inch. Okay, it's nice. And orange is not as common as the other colors from my reading anyways. So this is a nice one. I like this one, I think it's nice. Um, I'm gonna do this at a buy it now of 42. A nice color and it's it is a little rare the rusty orange um it's a rare color it's very nice who came in first <laughs> christina i'm sorry uh sunday jen it's jen everybody knows it i think and ashley sunday is a channel you guys you haven't checked it out most people on here do <laughs> not most but a lot of us do um all right Christina got it though. I'm sorry, ladies. It is. It's fabulous. Yeah, I learned how to pronounce it. Just took me like two minutes. I just uh, sometimes stumble over my words. Um, all right. Christina. Um, yeah. It's really nice. Okay, so orange bacon. And that's the second. All right, you guys, figure that out amongst yourself and then let me know. Um, I'll be back in a second here. Um, I'm going to make sure everybody is bagged appropriately. Okay, real quick here. Um, next one, Laura. Okay, that's Liam. Wait, this is a leaner. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, I'm, you figured, are you guys figuring that out? I'm, I'll be right back. <laughs> you see me right here. Right. Um, I swear I had two things for Alina. Did I guess so? Uh, did I? Am I losing my mind, guys? No, I'm starting to get a lot more comfortable in front of the camera. Can you tell? Um, all right, that's Alina. I'm not uncomfortable in front of the camera, really. I can admit that. Um, <laughs> I'm joking. Sorry. Um, Alina, it was one thing with you, right? If not, yell at me and tell me what I've lost. Um, it might be in somebody else. Okay. All right. So it's Christina. So you... Okay. So I'm going to switch it over to Jen. Okay. Jen, and I, should I hold that? Well, whatever. We can talk about that another time. Oh, all right. I'll change the name on her. Thank you. That was nice of you. Jen did like it. You commented on the video about this. Maybe I should have auctioned that one. I don't know. I don't want to auction everything. Just one. Okay. Thank you. All right. It's very nice. You're going to really like it. You can wear the dress again that you said you had on. Um, perfect. But thank you. And congrats, ladies. Yeah, you're welcome. It's no problem. Yeah, so do I. I almost tripped over my cat today. I was angry. <laughs> it's bad. It's bad. Cat. This is nice. This is 1928 necklace. Um, it's nice. It's a nice necklace. Uh, I don't know the age on you know, it. Has a barrel clasp. Signed 1928. I know they've started jewelry in the 70s. So they've been around a little while. 26 inches around the neck. I think it was those 70s or 80s. Well, 27 around the neck. We'll just say 26. And then a total drop of 16 and a half. And it's really nice. That's glass. And I think that's a transfer. I don't suspect that's painting, but it's lovely. Look at it. Um, there's the back. It has a foil like metal back there. It feels like it needs wiped off. I'll wipe that. All right. And the pendant's like three inches. That's my guess. So this is a 19, two and three quarters. I heard a cat back there. All right. 1928. It's a lovely necklace. They made it to look older. You know. Um, okay. But anyways, this is 
this this is 22 if anybody's interested in this am i keeping it straight there we go it's pretty it's cool tone as you can see and the chain's pretty long i just have it doubled up all right thelma thank you i'll add that to your bag i have that bracelet too I'll, well whatever I'll just, I'll just put that in there um look for your video you said you're doing a video on this right sorry judy It's it's a nice one. I always thought it was something. They have nice jewelry. I may have more in my inventory. Um, I have to go check it out. I have some earrings or something. All right. I feel like I'm moving through that posture there. All right. That's Thomas. I, I'll invoice in. The shipping will be included there still. You're welcome. Yeah, I'll watch it. I um, I've been having a hard time. Yeah, I've been having a hard time, period. I'm a, I'm a busy person. I mean, aren't we all, right? <laughs> but I feel like I just, feel, uh, I feel like I could use help, like, with what I'm doing already. But I don't have anybody, I'm not going to have anybody to help me because I'm not paying anyone. So that's not going to happen. Um, unless I can recruit my daughter. All right, this is Rose. This is a gold filled, um, it's just it gets to you know how it is i when i what reason i brought that up is invent i have things that need put away that i haven't and then it's hard to keep track of what you have when it's not in the right place you know what i mean that's that's what i was talking about anyways that's gold filled it's a pearl class as you can see and this is this is strung on pink thread i don't know i don't think it's so could be but i don't know it's um strung on something all right rose quartz and amethyst it goes up towards jadeite but i'm gonna tell you what i i don't think so i'm gonna be quite honest i'm not completely comfortable with that so i i will sell it to lesser i do believe it's rose quartz though because it's mixed with amethyst amethyst and that makes more sense than amethyst with jade maybe i'm wrong on that but i i don't think i am um it could be whatever it's rose quartz today if it's something else let me know <laughs> all right um 26 inches after you get it i mean it's i think it's hard to tell for a lot of people um it is for me this is 26 inches long it's pretty nice let me show you it It's nice. It's amethyst and rose quartz, and it has a gold filled pearl clasp on it. So for this um, necklace, um, all right. For this one, I'm gonna try. Um, ask a. What does it sound like? I don't know. Like that. <laughs> it's something I have to learn, and I'm fine. I mean, they, they're not, I don't think there's much difference in value, right? Unless it's really good jade. This would be jadeite if it is. So um, I, I can't tell, to be honest. So I don't know. It's 30, though. It's very lovely. I think they look alike in comparison, unless you really know how to look under the loop or something. But it's a nice necklace. It's very pretty. It's well made. And it does have the little gold filled clasp. It's written like on the side over here, 1420, which they put on jewelry as well. It's not always one. Um, they don't always write it as one, uh, one, 12, one 20th of 12 carat, especially since this is four, it's 20% uh, 14 carat. So one fifth of it is gold. 20% is gold. That's what that means. It would be 1420 or reverse all right i tried to block these i oh how long away and why do they keep coming to my chat um i'm just gonna block them once guys i can't figure out how to um i'm just gonna leave that there for a minute i think guys are probably still gonna see them anyways um all right 
So this, um, <laughs> I need to figure out how to set so only subscribers can leave me messages and I couldn't figure it out on StreamYard. All right, this was 30 in Rose Quartz, I think. Okay, we'll pass on it. I guess if I come out here more knowing what I had, I may have went better, huh? <laughs> I'm joking. Um, that's funny. Some of the stones are hard to tell when you're looking at them. Um, all right, how about next I will do... I'm going to do the gold deck. Oh. Somebody wants that? All right. Let me see. You can let me know. No, I'm joking. Let's see what it looks I don't know, it might be G, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, thank you and congrats. Just go always go to the the lesser value if you're I think if I'm selling something and I'm not hundred percent, that's all. All right, thank you. And congrats, and it's nice. It is a nice necklace. Um, how about a bracelet? I just did one, didn't I? Just for, let me show these. Look how cool these are. I thought they were cute. Oh, the gold that'll be nice. Look at the little faces. This is like a resin, like a, I don't know what it is. It's not wood, I don't think. Could be painted. There's the back. They're clips, and there's the front. They have just little faces on there, and they're about an inch and a half. They're different. I think they're cool. You're welcome. Oh, that's nice. Your mother-in-law, she'll like that. It's really, it's pretty. All right. So there's that. They're about an inch and a half. I think they're cool. See those little faces on there. There's four of them. I don't know what this is supposed to be. <laughs> they're cool, though. Um, I have a price on these of... Um, If anybody wants them, 14. I just threw the price on them, figured what they were worth. Um, I didn't, obviously, I didn't see anything like these little faces. Oops, I just knocked that one off. There's the back. Silver tone clips and... They're not real heavy. They almost feel like they would be wood, but um, I don't know what they are. They're very light. They're modern, though, I would suspect. Still cool, I think. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna, I'll pass them. It's probably a kid's cartoon. <laughs> I'm joking. Character on them. I don't know. I've already done that. I've sold things um, like that. All right. I'll pass on that. Oh, this. This is the Goldette. Now, I don't know if this is Whiting and Davis. I don't know if this is unsigned uh, unsigned um, Goldette or Whiting and Davis because I'd seen one for Whiting and Davis. I didn't see the Goldette. But I did see one for Whiting and Davis. But somebody had mentioned... Um, gold at that I think would know so I was thinking they may have had one as well okay um but I, I couldn't find one online so I don't know who the maker is but it's fabulous let me wipe it off a little bit it is Venus and Cupid it's an integralio reversed carved clear glass five inch pendant and there's the porn again hi guys I know that's just like robotically being entered in there this is five inches guys just ignore that or somebody report it or get rid of it i should probably have somebody on my chat with a wrench oh my god i thought i got rid of that soon why is that happening to me constantly i mean is that happening to other people because i don't get a lot of options so i wouldn't know but i seem to be getting a lot of them and i did i put down um to keep certain words out. Okay, thank you. Thank you for reporting. All right, thank you. Here. Um, I have a wrench. Thank you. If you don't mind, I'm sure you don't. Um, thank you for your help. Um, 
just horrible. I got to figure out how to set my YouTube up. I spent like 25 minutes. I seriously had like no time today to do anything. I mean, well, I did have a nap, but I needed it. All right. So I don't know. Um, I'm trying to set it up better. It's a thing. Thank you. Yeah, that's that's a nasty thing right there. I know that. Thank you, everybody. This doesn't come with the torque. And it's not sterling. I, I test didn't. Well, let me take it back off the torque. It's five inches. Let me show it to you. It's cool. It has Marcus sights in the front. This is the back. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, I don't know why they're coming. I got to set my um, YouTube up better, apparently. But there's the Marcus sites. They're all there. It's cool. This is going to be an auction item. I'm going to put a price in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You can hide them now. Yes, thank you. Um, I'm starting this. I only saw one. And it was an unmarked white in Davis. I'm going to start at 75. No, that's wrong. Sorry. I'm, I'm auctioning this. Um, <laughs> I wanted to auction it. Um, so the starting bid is 75. This is um, this is a unique item. So if nobody, but if nobody's interested, nobody's interested. But it's cool. I figured it started at 75. Let's see, it has the Marcus sights all over there. It's five inches. It doesn't come off the torque, but can be quit. I mean, it just has that type of thing. The one I saw was um, Whiting and Davis with a pair of earrings um, unmarked. That was all I could find. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I'll, I'll, if I don't sell it here, I'm going to put it online. I have started to, um, it is glass. Yes, this is reverse glass. It's a um, Intaglio reverse glass cameo. Oh, Venus and Cupid. It is. I started putting things um, back on Mercury and on um, mainly Mercury, and I started some on eBay. I don't really use Poshmark. I do have a few things on there, but I don't sell much on them. But it's nice. It's glass. Five inches in length, and it has Marcus sights all over it. But it is, it's not sterling. It looks like it almost looks plated back here. Look. I don't know the dating on it. Um, I really, I don't know. But Gina's in at 75. This is pretty fabulous. All right. I'll just keep it for a minute here and see if anybody else is interested in case there's a lag. If not, be glad to give it to you for that. It's actually pretty fabulous. I'd like to have the earrings to it, um. I'm thinking it's unsigned Whiting and Davis. I don't have the book. I'm gonna get one. I've been I ordered a cameo book, History of Cameo, and um, I've been collecting them up. The one I bought off Stephen. I don't know if he's here or not, but it smiles and has teeth. I can see teeth under the magnifying glass. Pretty cool. It's left facing there. Pretty cool. All right. So I don't think anybody else is interested. Um, but Gina. So I'm gonna call it real quick here um, for Gina. Thank you, Gina. It is fabulous. Um, five, four, three, two, and sold to Gina. Thank you for 75. It's pretty marvelous. This is from that big bad estate sale I went to. So is that, um, the necklace back there. I'm going to put that online. This one I won't have to put online now, but I've been starting to try to put some things online. I offer them here typically first, but then they go online. Sometimes they'll be online and I'll offer them here. Okay. So I mean, I think it's waiting in Davis. Um, so that's why I'm going to label it and take Leo. Thank you. So I already have the bag. All right. I have my socks next. Congrats. All right. I have Chris, I have the Christian Dior earrings I found. Does anybody want to see these? Um, I have these online on eBay. I have a few watchers, but no offers. Well, I'm not going to check if I have an offer. I'll just refuse it. Um, or is that bad? I'm new on eBay. Probably not. I'm allowed to refuse it if I want. All right. So these are Christian Dior. 
They are signed CHR period D-I-O-R-D or they're gold plated and they are crystals. The copyright is after, you know, CHR period D-I-O-R copyright gold plated ribbon heart earrings crystals. There's a big crystal and then there's small ones on the bottom of the ribbon there and they're gold plated. And they're dangly. They, they articulated that moves a little bit. And it's signed right there, the CHR. I think these these 1980s, sorry, Christian Dior. Okay. They're cute. I'll auction them. Lower, much lower than I have them online. Um, I don't know. I didn't show these in a preview if anybody wants to. If you're interested, if you want to go look up and see what they're going for. All right. But anyways, Christian Dior gold plated crystal and crystal encrusted like hair and hair. Very nice. And these are about an inch and a half by my guess. Inch and a quarter. They're cute. They're like brand new shape. That's the backings on them. I'll put regular gold ones on them. Gold plated. I don't have gold gold. All right. So those are nice. These are, oh, I could have put it in here. They're auctioned. If they go out to lowest, I'm okay with it, obviously. So I set it at this price, it's 75. Christian, you are ribbon hearts. Sorry. And I showed you the back, right? They're gold plated. And it has the CHR DR actually on the earring because they're Paris. So it's actually written on the top part of the earring. I don't think there's any interest in these. All right, I'm going to pat oh, when Lena's in. Okay. All right. Oh, wow. It's like a lot slower over here. All right. I'll wait a couple more minutes. If they go at that, I'll gladly give them to you or anybody at that right price. But if you look at the comps of what people are charging for these, it's insane, in my opinion. They're nowhere near worth that. But um, in my opinion, I mean, who knows? Maybe they are. Who the hell am I to say they're not worth that, right? All right. They're worth 75. They're worth more than that. I know that. They're worth a decent amount more, but not worth what I'd seen them posted online for. Um, they're fabulous. But, Lena, I'm going to call them down. I don't see anybody else interested. And I'm happy to. All right, let me put them in our own little bag. I'm going to call them down 5432 um, and sold to Alina for $75. Thank you. These are lovely. I'll have to go remove those off of eBay. Hopefully nobody bought them. I haven't been on there. Um. Oh, I probably should have checked that, huh? All right, that's okay. Um, I doubt it. I did. I just put them off. I had some lights on them, like watchers, but you're welcome. All right, so Alina, the Christian Dior, 1980. I don't need to put all the details. I do. If you can notice my invoices, I'm a little crazy on there. I put every detail on them. Um, I think I enjoy doing it. <laughs> all right. Oh, there they are again. Wow. Really weird. They're really harassing me. Do they do this to other people, guys, or is it just me? I'm lucky. All right. You bought the Zuni or Zuni style. I don't really know. Zuni. Congrats. Thank you. Oh, really? These ones I'd seen placed up towards like $300, which I thought was a little bit in. Um, I don't know why I have so many spams coming into my channel. Um, is that typical? Or I need to set up my, uh, I need to set up my security better um, underneath my settings. And I will work on that tomorrow. I really have to because I'm getting harassed like pretty often for some reason. And I don't know why. Um, all right. Let me do something else. Okay. This, um, this is a glass bracelet. It's just green glass. It's cool, though. I thought maybe it was jadeite when I grabbed it. I don't take my tester with me. And couldn't tell. It's nice, though. It looks like it, doesn't it? But it's not. 
It's a nice three slip. It's crazy. We can just leave them there. Who cares? I will get rid of them. <laughs> I have to go and fix my, my thing going. It's two and a half inches. All right. It's, I think it's nice. But it's not jade. Yeah, I don't, I, I'm coming in through StreamYard. I don't know how to do that. What? Where's Dawn? What did Dawn say? I thought I missed something. Oh, that was an accident. Okay, it's all right, Dawn. She said the new ones are 500. Yeah, I believe it. The bigger, bolder ones, even the older ones, cost a lot more. But I didn't think the little ones, I think that people were a little high on that pricing, in my opinion. That's why I started them much lower. Um, okay, so then that. Um, yeah, yeah, that's what she said. This is not a stone. Um, let me heat up the gem tester again just to make sure. Not those ones, the newer ones, she said. Um, and I, I believe that. I, I'm going to put it on gem tester one more time because, like I said, I, I'm pretty rushed a lot. It's two and a half inches. So I guess that's like up to... There's, there's it on me. There's a lot of room there. I'm going to test it. I, I think it's glass. Yeah, it's definitely glass. It's nice, though. It's a nice, nice bracelet. It's a nice bangle. Um, and I, I'll do it for um, 20. I don't know. I could probably stop using StreamYard. I was using it from when you were coming over when I was doing strict au strictly auctions and we were doing it together. I could probably discontinue it and just go through YouTube because I'll be able to um, control those things. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I probably don't need to use it. I'll save money too. I didn't know how to format it so I wasn't getting harassed like that. Oh, top. Okay. All right. So this is 20 bucks if anybody's interested. It is glass. It's not, it is not stone. It's pretty though. I could probably save myself money. Okay. Or else after a minute or something, after they're subscribed a minute or something. I see people do that. That's what I tried figuring out, but I couldn't figure it out because I was coming in through Stringer. All right, I'm going to pass on that. If anybody comes in and goes back and... Okay. I was in there. I, I have to I have to look again. I was rushed today. I was having a, um, a really rushed day. All right, I have... Okay, how about... What did I just show? Wait a minute. Oh, how about this? This is cute. This is Monet, and it's one. These are has one uranium in it. That you know which one it is. It's the green one. I don't know the dating on this. It's cute though. It's gold tone. Looks gold plated. We'll call it gold tone. I didn't test it. Um, and I believe those are rhinestones. Um, and the one's a uranium. I'm not going to shine it. It's a green one. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that tomorrow before I come on on Thursday. All right. So this is about two, an inch and a half on a little tiny Monet. Cute little Monet, almost an inch and a half. Pretty little basket. Yeah, it does kind of look Eastery. Um. It's, it's 23 if anybody wants this. Wait a minute. Yeah, it's close enough. Um, it's really cute. That one's uranium there. The green one. And it is Easter Eve. I don't I wonder if Eva would wear that. Um, I don't know. I'm always thinking of Eva for myself with this type of stuff. It's cute. If you're at offer and see if anybody was interested. The colors are really nice. All 
All right, Tina, Nora. Okay. Um, I always I go back and forth with that if I should call people by their real name or by their YouTube name. Congrats and thank you. Um, all right. I feel really warm. I don't even know the temperature in Pittsburgh, but that's the first thing for you today, right? I believe so. All right, I'm moving on. Moving on. How about these gold earrings? I have gold uh, 14K, gold um, blue topaz earrings. Look how pretty the stone is. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. They're really pretty. They are 14K. I tested them, and it's marked 14K on the post. The part around the blue topaz is as well. Let me show them to you. These are post and 14K. The backings are not original. I added these. They're not, they are not 14K. Okay, the backings on there. They had beat up backings that didn't go with them either when I found them. Um, but they're a pretty, very lovely color. Look at them. These ones I'm going to auction. I'll start them at 50. Let me show you the construction again. I mean, it's a post. It's a post airing. Pure post. 14K. That's how they're made. And they're pretty. Yeah, yeah. She came on to mine. Yeah. She emailed me and told me she was at the wrong place. Um, well... Is anybody interested in starting a bit of 50 for these? 14K gold with blue topaz. Kathy's in at 50. Elena's at 55. Thank you, ladies. Yes. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry, Kath. Um, Kathy's at 60, so the next bid would be 65. The stone's very lovely. Look at it when I turn it. It's a good quality, um, good quality stone. All right, so the high bid is Kathy at 60, so next is 65. If anybody's interested in going any higher than that, Elena's at 65. He was in a rummaging for food. Kathy's out. So Alina's at 65. Fint Kathy and um and Robin, I'll wait for you to say out since you're in you were in. Or to bid higher. 65 is the high bid right now. There they wait that they're waffling earrings. Robin's out. What about Kathy? Um, I mean vintage Kathy. I'm sorry, I know Kathy. I know you're all okay. You're all out. So 65 Dolina. All right. Can, uh, 5, 4, 3, 2, and sold Dolina for 65. Thank you. I'm sure you have some other backings to put on them if you want gold. I'm sorry. I, you know, I don't have them. I should probably invest in that to add the earrings. All right. The, the stone's lovely. I, I, not an expert. They look real to me. Um, all right. I mean, not laugh pretty good. But, all right, so this is for Elena, 65. All right, thank you. Let me find your bag. Congrats and thank you. And thank you for your bids, ladies. Letting me know you're out. Something has to bake one, too. I have two bags for you. All right. Very good. I'll find the lemon today. There we go. Eva's in there getting some grub. I'm hungry myself. All right. Thank you. Thank you. They are. They're very nice. You'll like them. All right. Next. The Joan Rivers necklace. Why not? It comes in the box with the bag and the card. It's brand new. It's not faded. Or This is very nice, actually. It's very long. 
for my reading, I believe her jewelry's gold plated. I, I don't know if that's everything, though, honestly. Um, but Joan Rivers Classic Collection with the little card with it. Hi, Deborah. Timeless Deb. All right. So you get the bag, the box, and the faux pearls. There's the box as well, which is nice. I can ship it in there. Um, this is really long. Look. I will, uh, I'll measure the entire thing and tell you. Well, I got to double it up. My arms are too short. What do you mean, Eve? I'm on starving. Okay. Have my child make me food. <laughs> I don't do that. They've had band camp all day today. This is 60 inches with a three inch extender. But yeah, band camp from eight until five. Like it's crazy. But whatever, she's she's enjoying it. They get to, they go to Disney World next year, and they do march in the bands. It's fun. It's good. It's good for activities. I'm glad that she's involved in extracurricular activities. Keep her out of trouble. So this is Joan Rivers. Look at the colors. Let me show it to you close on. Um, I give the measurement 60 inches of a 3-inch extender, and you have three colors of faux pearls on her, a mauve, and then a pink, pur more purple. More mauve. Hi, Christine. And then that. So it's nice. And it has her tag on it. It's right here. It says Joan Rivers. Right there. And like I said, you get the box and the bag and a card. If you aren't here, that's what that's it's very long. And this is a buy it now of $32 for the Joan Rivers. Yes, they are practicing outside. They have water. She wore her, she wore, she has a little beach hat. She wore that little Betsy Johnson. It came for bathing suit, you know, the modern, like their little outfits they have for kids. And um, she wore a little sun hat and put sunblock on, took water, and they, they keep the kids cold off. Okay, Irene, Irene for 32. Irene was, you're the first and only. Thank you. It is lovely. It's nice. <laughs> Yeah, they're outside. Sweaty. She didn't complain. She enjoys it. There's, there's, um, I don't know. I want her to stay in friends with those, with kids involved in things. All right. So that's Irene. I mean, it's, I didn't force her to go. She wants to do it. I did. <laughs> it's early in the morning, though. But they have, they have a little marching thing come up at Pennywood. Um, so, so they're preparing for that. All right, Irene, you have something. More than, you have more than one thing. I gotta find your bag. I will. That's Christina. Oh, All right. I think I'm organized, guys, and I'm not. No, it's just a drawers packed. Um, she's she's percussions. She was trumpet, but she had to stop because she couldn't breathe through her nose. Um, that was like a year and a half ago. Um, so she's uh, percussions now. Right now, it's um, yeah, I find you, Irene. Thanks. Um, it's she right now. She's the xylophone, and then she'll do the drums eventually. There's the drums huge though, so I don't know if she ever will. Maybe she will in high school. She's small now. All right. How about the Nate beer? Yes, I have your other stuff in a different drawer. Yeah, I keep them. I keep them separate. Um, the things on hold go in a different drawer. And, you know, the new purchases go in another one. So I don't get confused. All right. So this is Nate beer. And I, I don't know if it's silver plated or not. I have no idea. I'm going to say silver tone. Okay. It's nice, though. It is Nate beer. This is an 18... 80s or 90s. Let me see. I wrote it down. I looked it up by the maker's mark. It's um, Napier written in script with a patent pending and a number on there. Fold over class. It looks silver plated, but I don't know. I couldn't find it in the book to confirm that. When you find things in the book, it gives you details. I couldn't find this one anywhere. But it's nice. It's well made. It's silver tone and gold tone. And it's, like I said, it's a fold over class. There's the class. So there, I'll measure it. 
Um, it's a total of 17 inches on the Napier. This is going to be a buy it now. All right. It's pretty. It's a nice necklace, I think. I really can't get under my neck. I have to move myself up here. All right, so this Napier, it's 1980s Napier. Um, this is a buy it now of, of 38, if anybody's interested. It's a nice necklace. There's the details on it, um, what it looks like. There's the back and the front. The links. It's well made. All right, let me hang it back up. So it's up there. Yeah, they have two weeks of camp. It's not too bad. I mean, it does take a lot of their summer up there, considering they only get like two months off of even. All right, what else do I have here? Somebody might know. I have, a, I have more stuff. We'll move on more. Does anybody want to see the, uh, what happened to that? I don't know. What did I do with that necklace? Oh, it's right here. The Art Deco one. Yeah, I sold those. Um, I don't remember who to. All right, this is a, a, a best sterling plated, though, and I don't even know if it's that because, like I said, I couldn't find it in a book. It's nice, though, but I'll pass on it. Maybe I'll bring it back at another time. Let's see if it can hang out for a while. All right. Um, oh, sorry. It's like I'm suffering. All right, let me see. What else have I got? Do I have... I have, I'm trying to find a little brick, why not? This is, um, signs made in France. Underneath there. Nate's wife, that looks cute. All right, I think he's cleaned. That looks like, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't be selling it. I think it's celluloid. There it is. It's shiny. It's very light. Um, I'll offer it if anybody wants it, if not. No big deal. It's almost four inches. It's on made in France under there. And the clip's good on it. All right. If anybody wants this, um, I'll wash it before I send it. If anybody does buy it, I'm gonna, I need to wash it anyways. It's 15, whether or not. Just a brick. It's a big brick. No, oh, can't show that. Pull your hair back with it. If people do that. Great. I'm going to, oh, did I hold it up long enough? I think so. I'm going to pass on that. Okay, let me see what else I have. Um, so which I'll show, what's next? I'm going to show these next. Um, these are cool. Let me show these. These are just a, um, these are costume, pure costume. I don't know who that's supposed to be. These are dangle earrings, silver tone. They're about two inches. They, they're a little weighted. They're not extremely heavy. They will stay on your ear though, so... They're clips. Here's the back. There's no marking on them. That's the back inside, the back there. Again, the front and the back. That's the back. The head, they're kind of concave back there a little. So, you know, come on on the surface. But they're silver tone. And I don't know who the maker is on them. Um. These ones are 14 if anybody wants them. 
they're got they got a good weight to them and who's that supposed to be does anybody know <laughs> i have no guesses is that a woman i can't tell if it's a woman or a man um i'm being i'm not joking about that i'm serious um it's hard to, for me to tell the details so they're nice though all right tina thank you and they they're not a chintzy they're not chintzy chintzy caesar okay thank you yeah well yeah that makes sense okay yeah thank you are you caesar yep you guys are right and they're nice they have a good weight to them hear them they're not like real chintzy and, or anything like that so those are for tina for 14. Yeah, you have the um, little Monet pen. All right, thank you. You have a crush on them. Yeah. It's possible. Well, he's no longer alive, but it's possible. People, it's the same as having a crush on a movie star that's alive, right? Um, I don't know. Maybe it's not. You're welcome, though. Thank you. Um, <laughs> To me, it is. I never really had a crush, crush on anyone, honestly. I don't know. All right, these are gold filled. Um, but Julius Caesar is a good one to pet, have a crush on, I think. All right. Um, impressive. This is I uh, tiger eye pearls, some glass, and some stones, and some crystals. And look how fabulous that is. Well, wait, look at the whole area overall. It's lovely. Look at it. It's gold filled, gold filled findings. And they're really lovely. So there's two of them, obviously. Um, there's crystal stones and pearls, and they're gold filled. And they're a little over two inches by eye view there. They are beautiful. These are quite lovely, and I like the combination of gemstone, pearls, and crystal. They're classy-looking earrings, I think. Um, these are... I'll put it by it now, pretty simple. For them. Which I think is a good price. $30. They're really lovely. It's faceted tiger and it's very nice. That's well on there. They're real pearls. Okay, Alina. 30. Yeah, you can want or the amounts fine. They're made, they're really, really well made too. Wait till you see how well made they are. Yeah, the tiger, there's tiger right. Look at this crystal on there, how beautiful that is. Um, everything's like can it's just really well made here, and you'll see them when you get them. They're lovely, pretty, very pretty. All right, Alina. Um that's 30. Thank you. Good fill. Crystal gemstone. Thank you. Let me find your bag. I feel like I, I need a bigger space. That's that's the issue here. The bit it's the business is growing a little bit. Oh, the number of people is increasing. Yeah, so okay. I mean, which is a great thing, right? Thank you. But the the area I'm using is no longer big enough. I need, like, to get myself a table with, like, a long tray or something to put things in or separate trays. I don't know. That's too many trays. All right. I'm going to show Chico's necklace. But thank you and congrats. This is this is nice. And I looked it up uh, so I could place, because I, to be quite honest, I wanted to place it much higher than I am. 
And I looked it up and I had to come up with a fair price according to what I, the other necklace I saw online. But this one's brand new. It has still has the tag on it. And look, it's really, very nice. There's the Chico's tag. And then it has a, rain, a piece of crystal or rhinestone in the back. A nice size um, lobster claw. And this is a gun middle finish. And it's very nice. You have, look. Very pretty shimmering faceted glass with AB on it. There's black, there's a gray, there's a purplish, and they shine on colors. And then there's glass and a plastic. Um, these are acrylic or plastic. Um, I don't know what content of plastic it is, so we'll call them plastic and glass mixed throughout these pieces. These look like large peacock pearls. You know, that's what it looks like, but it's not. Um, but it's a very nice cheapest. I think so. I'll give the potential of um, how long it can be 22 inches total, and the shortest you can pull it down to like um, 18. If you wanted, you could go further down here and make it even shorter. But it's, I think it's pretty nice. Look, it's, and you can wear it all different lengths. It's pretty nice, actually. I'll hang it on the bus and I'll put the price up for it. There it is. Chico's fantabulous. Is it backwards? Let's see. I want to make sure it's hanging on the right side. Okay, there's the back of it too. Look how well made it is. How everything is connected. It's a well-made necklace. Chico's jewelry is for the most part. This is probably, you know, they have jewelry, they have necklaces that go for hundreds of dollars, believe it or not. I don't know what the value, true value of this one is. I couldn't find it new. I it's pretty fantabulous. So let me put a price in for it. Um, fantastic and fabulous is fantabulous. Um, I'm going to say 34 on it. It's very lovely. Look at how it shimmers and shines. And I like it. If I don't sell it, I may wear this a couple times. That's what the back of it looks like. It's really beautiful. This would look really lovely. This would cover your cleavage. If anybody wants to hear that. Um, that's what my idea is for it. No, I'm joking. Um, I'm not joking. It's perfect on a like a re revealing shirt, something like this. But all right. I'm going to pass on it, I think. It's fine. I like it anyways. Um, I just have so much jewelry right now. It's getting crazy. All right. I'll bring it back another date. I may wear it for a while. I think it's quite lovely. And listen to it. Look how it moves. I don't know. I have a little bit of different taste. Maybe it's, maybe it's not as nice as I thought it was. I don't know. I really liked it. I thought it was pretty. It's just really lovely the way, pretty the way it was shimmering. All right, let me see what else I have. I do have more jewelry. Oh, I have these. Let me show these. These are bracelets. Um, They look moon glowy. I believe these are Lucite. I will pass on it, though. Um, That one. And this one is um measured from the inside. It's two and a half inches. Yeah, I'll probably wear that a couple of times. It's got a lot of room. It's, let me measure that again. Seems like it's a two and three quarters. But yeah, it's pretty nice. It's cool. It's it's a little different, I guess. Yeah, this is a little bigger in two and a half. It's close to two and three quarters. I could tell by the way it fit me. This will come with rings in there. So it's up to an eight inch wrist. And it's um it's a moon glow. There. All right. So, oh, my aching back. <laughs> Listen to me. Um, all right, I let me put a price on this one. I, I had to look because I kind of researched it. Um, it's this is fourteen. It's not bakelite. I tested it just to make sure it wasn't. I I know they say there's not bakelite in white, but there is on an off white. 
Um, but this is not Bakelite. I did test it just to make sure. It's a Moon Glowy. And it looks nice with a black one, I think. Look how big. There's a black one as well. But it would just be for the white one if anybody's interested in it. In this. I'll recap everything at the end. I mean, I'm not done yet, but I still have more stuff. I still have a little pair of sterling rhodium plated blue topaz earrings and some brooches and stuff. All right, so I think I can pass on this. I have a black one as well. That was the same price. <laughs> I'm just going to set that aside there. If anybody likes them, they can let me know. I'm not, I don't want to hold that one up. It's the same size and everything, and it's black and moon glowish. Okay, so um, I'll leave that one go. I'll go on to another bracelet. I need to wipe this out. There was a sticker in it, and I took it off. I'll clean it if I sell it before I sell it. This is pretty cool. It's Mother of Pearl. Dyed Mother of Pearl. Um, this is... Eh, about two and a half inches. There's some room in there. Probably up to a seven inch comfortably because it should be moving on your hand. And that's what it looks like. So, I'm just going to put a price in. I don't need to look at the list. I do write everything up, believe it or not. Um, well, most people do, I think. That's 15 if anybody wants it. It's silver tone. I need to get the sticker out of there. There's no markings on it. Like, I'll clean that with some Dawn to get the marking out of there. It's just from a sticker that was in, on the price. But. Right. I'm going to show you guys the Art Deco necklace, see if anybody likes it. Um, I'm going to pass on this as well. If anybody sees anything, I, I'll probably recap a couple of things. I may not recap everything. Oh, okay, Barbara, you want that? Yeah, you, you mentioned this. I'll clean it for you before I send it. Okay, I'll put some Dawn on there. Just on the inside to get that off. All right, thank you. This is the... I'm just going to show it and offer it if nobody's interested. That's fine. I just swear I try. I'm going to put it online if I don't sell it. Um, Mother of Pearl Bangle. This one here. Thank you, Barbara. And I'll remove the past because we can see it so. Um, I am going to start using YouTube, I think, solely. Because I don't really have hardly even need for StreamYard at this point. Um, we'll see. I wanna, I'll do next week. The thought can on Thursday through YouTube and see how my camera and everything looks. I would like to go back. I do. I do. Okay, I'll show that before the Art Deco. How about this? This is the one. Um, there's a lot of different stones on here. Okay, take a look. It's all stone. Congratulations and thank you. I have this one. I also have the rose quartz one too, but I took that for Thrifty Thursday. But if anybody really wants it right now, I was. <laughs> I was going to offer it that day, the, um, the strand with the big chunk, big chips. They're not like small chips or big chunks of rose quartz on that. This is 32 inches, and there's a lot on there going on there. The little ones, those are glass. The rest test is stone, and this is 32 inches on this. It's pretty nice. I see some, um, there's some amethyst on it. There's rose quartz. I believe that's jade. Regular quartz hair. There's amethyst chips and balls. And I think that's, I don't know. I think that's coral. I, I can't. I don't know. It's stone. The dark green. These, I, they're not malachite. I don't, I don't know. I mean, you can't tell everything from the gem tester. You can tell whether it's glass or not. Um, I'm going to dose it, put it back on the gem tester, just to make sure these ones are stone. The pink, this little pink and little green, I want to test them. Just real quick, if you guys don't mind. Like I said, I've been very busy, and I'm pretty certain. I mean, I didn't write each one down, and things escape your mind. You know how that is when you're busy. Um 
Yeah, it's stone. I don't know what kind. Like I said, the gem tester is not going to tell me what type of stones these are. Um, I, I can't tell either, honestly. But they are all stone. I just stuck them back under it. I know the quartz and the amethyst is. And so I don't know. It does not. It's not malachite. Look at it close up. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's pink, sorry, either, honestly. But there's the big ones up there. and It's pretty. Hi, hi, Allison. Hello, are you new here? Thank you for coming. I do ship to Canada. If you see anything you want, you can just email me there at vintagejewelrygalartyahoo.com. It's need your PayPal email address, um, YouTube name, and a country. With, well, I know you're in Canada. But toss that in the email real quick in case I forget. If you're interested in buying anything. If not, you don't have to register. You're welcome to just come and not and, and hang out. Thank you for coming. All right, so for this, I will do this at... This is a nice necklace, I think. I'll do it for 30. It has a number of different stones on it. It doesn't have a strand. Um, I mean a clasp. It does not have a clasp. This is a strand. A long strand. All right, Christina, thank you. You have a good night, too. I will be invoicing... Um, I'm not sure, maybe 6 a.m. in the morning. I don't expect everybody to pay then, but I have to go watch my grandbaby while my daughter, um, she's going to the dentist, so I'm getting over there early. I'll pray in voice really early or on the afternoon. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. It's different, but I'll, I'll pass on it, I think. I think I'm going to pass on it. I like this one, actually. Um. Keep that one. Um, all right, so for a while. Let's see. That was the other stone, and then I had to roast quartz um chips. I'll bring that on Thursday, okay? Um, Irene. Um look how pretty these are. This is oh, this is a check. This is check um Czechoslovakia, Czech glass necklace. Now, it's brass. This is a gold filled clasp. But it does not belong to the necklace. The one ring pair says Czechoslovakia on it. It's written on that. The brass ring, it's written Czechoslovakia. You know, circled there. And this is Czech glass. Little necklace. But the clasp is not original. I mean, you do have the marking of it being... You know, the, we're saying where it's from on here, Czechoslovakia. And then another side, you can replace that with a brass one. It looks better if somebody buys it and wants to, you know, keep it and wear it. Um, it's a gold filled clasp, but it does not belong to this. I don't know the dating on this. I can't say I do at all. <laughs> and I didn't ask anyone, and I'm, I'm newly researching this thing. Without the original clasp as well, that's something that, in my experience, I, I kind of need that to try to pull out what it is, you know what I mean? And it does not have that. I look on the front of it in a motif. Okay, I hope I'm not boring you guys. It um, It's flowers and, I don't know, kind of looks like it could be. There you go. That's what you have there. I don't know how to date it, though, what the dating is on this. But it's check glass. That's how it's made. And not the original class, but it does have a Czechoslovakian ring, which is nice. It helped me confirm that that was what it was. 18 inches around the neck, 10 inch drop. So one inch pendant. And there it is. I think it's nice Czech glass necklace. Oh, thank you. I don't know. If, I mean, I, I know it's Czech glass, but I don't know how old it is. But there's the pen. Let me show you the back of it too, in case you know somebody saw on here that does know. Well, you don't have to tell me, but in case you want to know, there it is. All right, so I'll put a price on this. Um, I was thinking Art Nouveau, but I think I'm off on that. Is anybody here able to tell me, confirm, or deny that? It has some cappings over it. It almost looks like there's a foiling over over whatever it's the metal that it's connected on under the glass. All right. I don't know. Let me put a price down for it. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, but I don't know. Okay. So 
That's my guess. I don't know if I'm right or not. So this one, though, I will do. I'll do it for 40. I, I think it's worth that. It's at least it's vintage. It's definitely vintage. And it's like an amber glass color. It's amber glass color of. Um... OK, thank you. I was thinking in the front, Jen, it has like a flower. Um, you see what I mean? Like my teeth, like it's, there's flowers looming and it's rounded it, like down here, flowers. And... OK, so possibly, possibly Art Nouveau, something like that, you think. Um, that's what I was thinking. But without the clasp, for me, it's very difficult because, you know, that's what I'm trying to learn by. All right. But 40 bucks, I think it's a good price, even without the world class. It does have the little ring, though. Um, it's cool that, like, I was contemplating, is this Czechoslovakia, you know, because I'm new at this. And I was like, I pulled it over the gold piece, and I was looking at that, and I saw um, right there, and it says Czechoslovakia right on it. I was like, well, it's definitely Czech then. Okay, stylized great key at the top. That Oh, I see what you're talking about on each side, you mean. All right, no interest in 40. I'm going to pass on it. Anyways, I'm going to pass on whether anybody wants it or not. I'm going to keep that, okay? Sorry. I just want to look at it for a while since it's quite possible. Since it is that old, I, I believe it is. Thank you. Um, hello, Sharon. Strong Minds. That one I'm going to keep. I just have to look at it a little bit more since I'm not real. don't understand that stuff a lot yet. All right, guys. I'm almost out of necklaces for the love of God. Um, but I have other things. I do. I have to. This is the Monet. Um, this is small Monet Retro. It's pre-copyright on this, which will be prior to 1955. Um, does this open? For that, oh, look. Look, look at the old clasp on that. This is Monet. See that? Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. I sh I'm going to look at that for a while. Google Lens, I couldn't find anything like that on Google Lens, no. Um. I couldn't even find my this other necklace I have here, which I'll show in a minute to see if anybody wants it. Um, okay, so this is a safety chain with a small flask. I think this comes off. I, I did Google ones that, and I couldn't find it. Um, oh, oh, look, it comes open like that. It's one of Monet's cool, cool and opens from the top. You know what I mean by that, the way they have that cool clasp. It's kind of cool. This is not, I think this is like 1940s, early 50s. It has the Monet with no copyright, and it's all caps. And if you look at the Monet Maker's Marks, all caps. Um, starts um, 1937, I think, and goes up until, you know, the copyright would be on it at 55 or over after for the most part. It's pretty consistent there. But it's link. It's short. It's going to be short. That's how it's made. Okay, I'm spending too much time. Sorry. Let me move on. I do that. I'm really sorry. Um, I don't mean to spend so much time. That's a long time on that. Um, like I'm teaching myself as I go. All right. This this is a seven-inch bracelet. It has the say original safety chain. It's signed Monet back there. Here, let me show it to you. And it has the hang tag, which a lot of the jewelry did have both way back when. Um, on the older jewelry, and it has the tag sign, same way. Well, a little bit different, but whatever. Both signatures were used at that time period. All right, I think it's a little bit of wearing on that there, but anyways, this is a Monet bracelet. If anybody's interested, it's old, okay? I believe it's retro. I will charge, I'll spend way too much time on that. Um, 28 bucks. It's one thing that I can have an understanding and control over is I have maker's marks. <laughs> that's, that's why I take complete advantage of it. Um, <laughs> all right, Laura, I'll put that in a bag for you. Thank you. It's because it's right there for you. You know what I mean? The other things take time to learn, you know, more time. All right. Thank you. I'm sweating, guys. You know, Monet, Retro. I have to go get a drink in a minute here. And that's going. I'm sorry, Barbara. To Laura. All right. It's nice. You already have a bag in here, I think. 
What is that from? There we go. I don't want to spend all day here. I may just give you two bags. Maybe not. This is why having people come help does help. There. Thank you. Congrats and thank you. It's nice. Nice bracelet. Um, let me give you a drink of water, guys. Okay. Yeah, it does help sometimes. Um, it depends on the piece and how common it is. Um, if it's something that there is no other of, then it's a little harder to find. You know. The, Hanging out. <laughs> I have a mid century Trafari necklace for anybody be interested in that. All right, let's move on. How about this? I'm going to lower the price on this. See if anybody wants it. Look how big and. I don't know who this is. Looks kind of like Eisenberg to me. I have a pair of earrings kind of matches. They're unmarked. Look. Don't they kind of go together in a way? Don't they kind of look like in a way? All right, a little bit different. This is fantastic. I saw one just like this online, but it was a little, the stones were dark and yellowish and so forth. And this one's in great shape. It's fully pronged and it's crisp. And I kind of think it matches that. I'm not selling them together. Though. I can't, I don't want to do that. Um, but they match. I don't think they're, I, they, they're not a, a set necessarily. But they match well enough. Yeah, look. Same shapes and so forth. All right, so for this, this is large, like three and a half, four inches. And it's fabulous. It's already plated on the back. And it looks brand new, basically. There's, I don't know, I think it's 1950s. I don't know, though, for sure. Um, two, it's two and three quarter inches. I don't know. Look how it's made, though. I start boring people. Like, 20 people jumped off when I start giving too many details. I'm sorry about that. I can't help myself. Um, all right. It's nice. This is cool. It's big. There's the back. Did I show that to you? Probably. There's the class. It's nice, shiny, and clean. Fully pronged and lovely. And I think it does match, um, you can't see that, can you? There we go. I have one I wear in my hair, not like this, but kind of. All right, this is a buy it now. I don't know who to make her is because it's unmarked, but it looks really great. Um, get it. It's 50 if anybody would like this. Then I'll do the earrings as well. I think it's well worth that. Look, it's more than one level on it. And they're elevated. It kind of looks like a bug or something in a way or a piece of fruit. All right. So Alina for 50. Thank you. It's it's like you're going to like it. It's really lovely. Yeah, yeah. I do everything. Thank you. It is getting late too. Yeah, I do. I know. I've been, I, I've been working on that. Not to, not to think everything's about me. <laughs> I'm not narcissistic, but I think it's a natural thing. <laughs> Maybe it's one. Maybe it has a little, um, I'm not, I'm not, I don't have a big head, but I don't. But it's lovely. Congratulations and thank you. And you're going to like it. I'm going to offer the earrings. Uh, in a minute, let me find your bag. Let me move. Someone's already paid one out of it. So I'll stick that in there. Carolina. One more person here. Okay. Lena Okay, now I need to find Lena. She has a few things in here already. Okay. All right, one second. There we are. I found it. Thank you. It's nice. I, I held on to that one for a little bit. I, I really liked it. I was trying to figure out at some point, I'd like to start figuring out unmarked brooches. 
I don't know if Barb's in here. I think that's what she's been doing. I've seen her buying up on them. Um, I would love to do that at some point. Egg roll sign. Good. You know, we had tacos today. We had beef and chicken tacos. I'm probably going to eat a taco when I'm done. But I'd love to start identifying brooches um, without, you know, un unmarked brooches, unsigned beauties, as you say. But I can't collect them now. i got to sell them. I can't keep all of them and bulk them like it. Eventually, I will. All right. So these match it pretty much, I think. They're long. They're not quite shoulder dusters, I don't think. You made turkey tacos. Yeah, I'm, Eva loves tacos. She eats the chicken only. She doesn't like beef. I thought she would mix it, but she didn't. That was my grandson likes beef. These are um, two and three quarter inches. Oh, well, good. It's good to you. Out there. Then I don't know what you missed. I sold most of it. Well, you saw the Chico's, right? I think everything else is sold except for this. That was 30. It's multiple stones. Um, all right. You fed the, yeah, Eva, she's old enough to go back and get herself seconds or, but, or whatever she wants. But I did make dinner before this and got myself together and we got a lot done today. Here they are. They're unsigned. They're really pretty. They're long. I did give the measurement on them, right? I'm starting to get tired. About four inches, I think. They're clip earrings. Yeah, I did eat before. So almost three inches, not four. I did. I'll be hungry after. I probably will eat. Um, these ones are, um, let me make sure the clip's good on these both. This is smaller than an air, so I'll put it on mine. I don't wear clip earrings a lot. She can tell. Maybe you can tell. Yeah, they have a clip. I worry about clip earrings. Um, they're fine though. All right. Let me put a price in for them. Here's what they look like, like opened up there. There's no maker's mark. There's that piece there because against your ear. That's how I ate all day, though. I ate one taco. I'm, I'm pretty hungry right now. Um, I'm going to eat again when I'm done. These are, um, I'll do these for $24. I think they're nice. They're fully pronged. And there's the back. Everything's there and they look good. Are you only enough? 24. Thank you. And what kind of egg rolls? I like egg rolls and hot mustard myself. That's how I eat them. There's another one. Oh, it's held for review this time. Yeah. Wow. It's crazy. I get a lot of them. I don't know why I got to fix that. I'm going off of here. I'm going to go on to youtube and try it i'll try that on on thursday and if it looks all right i'm just going to start using youtube only save myself some money but they've been coming up a lot on my chat have anybody noticed that i don't see them on anybody have you seen them on anybody else's i'm being targeted <laughs> i'm joking i feel like it all right here's this this is, I'm going to offer this. I'm going to do a buy it now price on it just to see. Um, I reported them. Um, oh, goodness, God. Thank you, Thelma. Here it is. It's a lava layer. It's onyx and marcasites. <laughs> yeah. They're nice. You wear them when you go out. They're really pretty. Look how, this is how it's made. It's Mark Sterling back there over on the side there. It's Onyx and Marcusites. And here's the lock. The, the lock. This is um, antique. Here's the chain. Up top, it is um, 
it looks like that. And when you get down here, it has to mark a six and a half. I didn't have any trolls last week. Okay, maybe I didn't. I'm going to go in through YouTube and see what it's like on Thursday. If it looks good, I am going to use it. I'll save money anyways, right? 16 inches and a 10 and a half inch drop. It just seems like they're here all the time. Maybe not. Maybe it was just Thursday. Excessive. Maybe it's just because it's so many times. All right, so that's pretty fabulous. Um, I love it. If I... Yeah, it's pretty nice. It is lovely. It's very stunning. Um, all right, I'm going to put a crazy, not a crazy price. I'm going to put, <laughs> I'm going to buy it now price. If anybody wants to take it in half, and if not, then that, that's that's fine. I'll keep it, eventually put it online or something. But that's that's 200 I couldn't find one exactly like this um, to research it. And that, that's a high price, but eh, it's, it's worth it. We'll get that. Sorry. There's that. This marcasite starting halfway down here that are consistently through. I can't really show it holding it in my hand. But it's just for a show in case somebody here was... Um, interested in it it's it's nice and i couldn't find one exactly like it's online the ones i did find kind of similar were overpriced i think <laughs> they were higher than this they seemed to overpriced to me but you know again this is new jewelry to me new style um just learning it and to source it so all right we'll pass on that let me keep it hang up And yeah, it's very um, dainty. Um, it is marked. It's it's sterling silver and onyx. It's marked sterling back there. I believe early um, Art Deco, I believe. So I'm going to say it's it's antique or near antique. There's the um, there's the clasp. It's one of those ones that don't really have a piece sticking out. Okay, there's the back. It's all sterling, and. That's what it looks like in the front up top. The marcasite starts so so far down, and there's three in each one. Hello, Jack Dean. I'm gonna um, get rid of them. I'm gonna work on my channel tomorrow. All right, so that was two hundred. It's nice. Um, it's fantastic, actually, and I. Don't mind holding it for a while. I fear I'd show it and offer it. All right. I don't mind keeping it. All right, let me show this little thing. This is Monet. Look how cute that is. Those are dark, like, um, garnet rhinestones. are not garnet. And those ones, look at that ruby. Let me see if they're right. I can tell. I don't know if it's rhinestones or crystal, one or the other. Um, it's probably rhinestones. Here's the back. This is 1980s, I believe. Just by quick view, it's see, it's a little raised there, and it's cute. I think this is about two inches. Um, I think yeah, I I feel like I'm getting a lot of them. Like it's crazy. I know it's it's it happens to everybody, but I don't see it because I don't really go many places. Um. All right. Yeah, it's about one and three quarter inches. There it is. It's twenty bucks if anybody wants it. It's really pretty. It shines lovely. It looks brand new. It's not scratched or faded at all. No fading on it. And there's the back. I think I do still have your bag, Carolina, so I'll come be able to combine the shipping. Yeah. Uh, it'll it'll be going up. Definitely Wednesday. It's just a matter of when payments come in. Like, I finished everybody up from Tuesday, Monday night, um, or was it Tuesday night? All right. I can't remember. Friday. It was, oh, for God's sake. It was Friday. If it wasn't received by Friday a certain time, I, I didn't send it out. I'm on Monday right now. It's starting to run together. I feel like I'm constantly wrapping a package. It's not a bad thing, though. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. I'll give you a new bag. 
These are blue Let me show the blue topaz. Oh, wait. How about the little... Um, look how cute these are first. These are little gold-plated Joan Rivers with crystals. They're signed. And thank, congratulations. Thank you. They're signed back there. Her, these are gold-plated. Not gold-filled. If I said gold-filled, I'm sorry. They're gold-plated. I don't think she has gold-filled jewelry. I think she plates it all. But it has a nice uh, thick layer on it, it looks like. it. These ones are in good shape. They're not faded. Um, they look good, but they have little crystals up top. There's three of them, if you can see that. There we go. And these are about a half of an inch. They're small. Maybe a little bit bigger, like three quarters. All right, so for the Joan Rivers little heart earrings, um, let's see, I priced them. Hooray. Again, some people are way off on their pricing on these. Um, okay. These ones I will do for um, for 18, Joan Rivers Gold Plated and Crystal Heart Earrings. They are kind of like shrimp material, kind of like, you know what I mean by that? The way they're made. Textured, kind of. All right, Barbara, thank you. i get a separate bag for these. So I won't get scratched or anything. <clears throat> Mainly the stones falling out worries me. Thank you. Congrats. That's 18. Thank you. Again, we need to do with a bag in here. Um, I'm going to take the time to find it. I don't want to. I guess I did, I did. Or maybe I didn't. Maybe you. Let me see. I know I saw your name pop up. That's Chino. Oh, yes, you have that, that nice bangle. All right. Thank you again. Oh, my God. There they are again. Holy shit. The three make me paranoid. Is somebody like targeting me out here or something? Or am I crazy? It's uh, not happening. Um, <laughs> That's happening a lot to me. Holy crap. They keep coming. Am I, have I been on here too long? Is that what they're telling me? Well, whatever. We're just going to ignore them. I'm sorry. Hopefully it's not ins insulting to anybody. I am going to fix it. And um, I'm going to block emoticons and so forth, too, if I have to. Well, no, I'm just going to block, like, love, chat, adult dating, that type of thing. Adult dating, sex, and things like that. I'll do that um, before my sale on Thursday because that's annoying, actually. All right, these are blue topaz and sterling silver. They're marked 925. I know, I feel bad, though, about it. Some people might not like seeing it. Yeah, it's not my fault of your right. These are, I can't sell these right now. We have, like, is that missing something? Let, let me look. I'm looking at it close. Um. It looks like there's something missing on, like, on this one, like, up there. Yeah, it's just crazy how many. I'm, I'm going to wait on those. They are blue topaz. i got to get the stone replaced in them or something, or I might wear them. I don't care if they're missing a stone. I don't want to sell them like that, though. All right, these are Monet. These are very lovely. Look, there's a black enamel ink in the background, and they have an amber-colored amber rhinestone and then citrine. And there's Sign Monet in the back up there. They're wires. These are about an inch and a half. They're really nice. Everything's hair. Let me make sure of that. Everything's on that one. They are wires. I could put the little rubber things on the back of them if you want. They help from, you know, help you from losing them. But these are Monet. I think they're really pretty. You have the black enameling in the background and citrine colored rhinestones. And um, 
What, you think it's helping to have more chat? <laughs> Possibly. I don't know about that. I don't know. It just makes me feel uncomfortable. Um, these ones I'll do for for 24. These are really beautiful. Monet Paris earrings. There's the back again. They're well made, too. You see that the construction is um, it's a quality. I don't know the dating on them with that maker's mark. I am... I I can't say pre. <laughs> and no, I don't think so. I don't think anything like pre copyright on these. These look more modern. But they're 24 if anybody's interested in them. Yeah, they have more chat in there. It's it's just a lot of them. And I don't know how to set it up with Streamer and I've tried. I'll pass on these. I think they're really lovely. Let me see what else I have. I'm getting myself flustered over that. It's stressing me out. Can you tell? Um, how about Napier? Look at these big. These look gold-plated to me. These are Napier signed script. Oh, or wait. Are they signed script? That does mean something to some people. No, they are not signed script. It's all caps. There's the back. Um, they are a flip-up, like, clip slash uh screw back on these and that is a textured material let me show you how big they are they're about an inch these are really nice they're napier yeah i'm gonna try to ignore that what just happened there um these ones are they're 20 if anybody wants these. These are a quality pair of earrings. Napier. Probably 1980s Napier, I would think. That's my guess. Um, I didn't look them up. I ran out of time and I grabbed a pair of Napier earrings because I figured why not. But there's the back again. They're well made. And they're marked Napier. They're in their screw back slash clips. So flip them, then you can tighten them. More texture. As you can see, and domed. I have have a lot. Has anybody noticed them in anybody else's chat? I didn't notice if anybody said anything like, have you, or? It's just weird. Um, <laughs> I don't go to a lot of chats, so I can't say. That's why I'm asking. I, I don't, I don't go a lot of places. I mean, because I'm busy. That's the only reason why. Um, okay, these are the little 1950 type poodles. Although I don't know the exact dating on these poodles. They're little poodles of red ribbons. As you can see, there's two of them. They're cute. They're silver tone. They're everywhere. Okay, thank you. And the pin's good on them. There's two of them. Little dogs are about, oops, that's one's backwards, about an inch and a quarter. Okay, like gnats. I had some gnats from my bananas. So upset about them, trying to kill them with alcohol and water. <laughs> like gnats. It's funny. You guys haven't seen any gnats fly past, have you? <laughs> I do have gnats right now. I had like, I had a bunch of them and I killed like a lot of them spraying them. I have to go get more vinegar. I, it was just bananas in the, in the basket. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm working on that. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try YouTube on Thursday and see how my auction goes. Um, my sale. It's gonna be a buy it now soon. And if it goes well on YouTube and I like the way the uh, jewelry looks and everything, I'm I'm going to cancel Streamyard because it's actually making it harder for me for the most part. There. I hope I keep my videos though. That's the thing that worries me. Okay, so these two dogs are twelve dollars. If anybody wants them, little poodles, toy poodles. With black enamel ink on the eyes and red enamel bows. And they have a red area on their tail where it's trimmed. You know how they uh, groom these little things. My back's starting to hurt. Oh, I've been on here almost two and a half hours. My goodness. All right. Two poochies, poodles, toy poodles, past the toy poodles, I think. Right. Anybody wants them? I'll show, I'm going to show the rest of what I have. I'm not going to move extremely fast like on Thursday. Um, 
Let me move fast one first. He's having an elephant. This is cool. There's the back of it. And the front, he's enameled, looks gold plated. I don't know if it is. It's about two and a half, three inches. Um, okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Gina. Yeah. That's, that's good information for me because I think I'm going to get rid of it. It'll save me money too. Who doesn't need to save money? Um, oh, he's okay. <laughs> I'm curious. All right. This is, if anybody wants this elephant, it's a cool little elephant. It's 11 bucks. It's enameling on there different colors as you can see pearly and looks gold plated gold tone we'll call it the trunk up and the pin's good back here there it is it's cute it's about three inches i didn't measure it but it's a little pin maybe not <laughs> all right i'm gonna pass on this all right let me see what else i have i have an, an older bracelet here then I'll show, it doesn't have any maker's marks on it. There's, that's what that looks like. They're the clasp, you know, the ends that are anchoring the bracelet, not the clasp. The clasp is pulled over. It's unmarked. This isn't, this isn't faded, but it's a, like a light gold tone color, as you can see. That's, it is there. I'll measure it. Let me close the box clasp. This is. It's about seven inches, seven and a quarter, actually. And it, like I said, it's a fold over clasp, and that's what it looks like on the end. The chains, and it has some weight. This, if anybody wants this, um, it's vintage. I don't know how, I think it's vintage. I don't know how old it is. I really don't think it was the idea. Um, it's 15. I can't tell any identifying characteristics on this. Tell me how old it is. Um, seventies. Uh, it's my guess. Okay, Barbara, uh, fifteen. Thank you. Congrats. It's a nice bracelet. It has a good weight to it, as you can hear, and well made. Sorry, Sungly. Uh, Barbara came in first. All right. Okay, Kathy, you're welcome. I'm, I'm glad you got your earrings. You, know, you didn't get your earrings, did you? I'm really sorry to say that. I'm um, sorry. I thought you did. Thank you for coming. Um, if I find another pair, I'll contact you directly before I, before I like show them for the preview, okay? All right. So these were 15. I will. I'll remember that. Okay. Thank you. All right, I have other things. Let's move on. How about a little toucan? This is a Monet. I don't know the dating on it. Um, after 1980s, probably 1990s or something, maybe even a little more modern. Um, it's a Monet. 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 Red enamel, white, and then some citrine colors up in his little beak. And he's adorable. There he is on a branch. Is that a toucan, guys? Or is this something else? Not a toucan. I don't know what kind of bird it is. All right. Good night. It is. It's getting late. Kathy, thank you for coming. All right. I don't know what kind of bird it is, but it's Monet. And it's cute. And if anybody wants it, there they are again. I'm getting off here soon. This is... <laughs> Sixteen dollars if anybody wants it. It's nice. Um, it's about two inches. Let me measure it. I'll tell you if I'm right. Now it's one and one half inch. It's one and a half inches. Little bird with black enameling, pave style rhinestones in the chest, beak, and leaves. Green, clear, and like a citrine. I am. I'm getting a lot of them. Like, yeah, I gotta fix that. I don't know what they get out of that. What does it been? How's that benefit them? I wonder. All right. Let's pass on the toucan or whatever it is. Yeah, your boyfriend say yeah, my I, I don't have a boyfriend. Maybe that's why they're here. No, I'm joking. Hey, you know what? A lot of that is centered at. Um, 
well, I'm not going to get into details. It's all young girls for the most part is what they, you know, that stuff's disgusting. They don't like it on my page. I am going to get rid of it. Um, it bothers me. But, yeah, they are like gnats. You guys have guessed seen gnats flying behind me. Is that why you keep saying <laughs> I'm joking. I do have gnats. If you've seen the occasional gnat, I've killed most. <laughs> I'm joking, Becky. Thank you for getting rid of them. There's a lot of them. And holy moly. Okay, we're past on that. Part. <laughs> That's the way my mind works. And I know it's not always rational. Okay. I'm like, oh my God, maybe they see gnats behind me. <laughs> it's um, There's not a lot, but there are some. I mean... Oh, I hate them. We can't leave anything like cups it. Like I told Eva, like don't leave your cups sit that you drank out of. You have to rinse them out. Because the more that they have to lay on, the more they populate. They're disgusting little things. I used to call them TT flies by accident. Um, you know what a TT fly is? Eva's like, Mama, they're not TT flies. They're like giant flies in Africa. TT flies are humongous, like, <laughs> like that big or something, like gigantic. I used to call them TT flies, so it's kind of funny. They're gnats. The little ugly bugs that get on your bananas. Mm, I hate them. These are big bejeweled. B-E-A-U-J-E-W-E-L-S. I feel like I've had this pair before. They're nice. They're about an inch and a half. You want to, is that a toucan too, you think? Okay, Irene. How much did I say on the toucan, guys? Um, I think 15 right on him. Yeah, and then I said pass, but I'll remove that. All right, Irene, thank you. Let me put them in his own bag so nothing happens to it. It's adorable. Oh, well, thank you. 15. All right, thank you. I'll get that in a minute. Oh, these ones. I was doing these. Um, look at the back. These are vintage. Um, they're pretty. They're rhinestones. This color, it, they're pretty nice. Kind of looks like jewelry glass on here. Oh, hold on. Let me look at that. And now it's clear. They're older. I think they need the stuff. These need cleaned. Um, I can wipe them down. I don't wet them. Maybe I should clean them. Whatever. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't mean whatever territory you guys are getting myself excited. These look like the ones that like screw off. Have you ever seen those earrings? Like where when they built them, they built them to where the pieces are screwed on. And I think that's what these are. Look. But anyways, these, I don't know how old these are. 50s, I guess. I don't really know. I was thinking 1940s because of the background backing on there, but I really don't know. Honestly, I'm not an expert on that stuff um, by any means. All right. So there they are. They're very nice and they have a nice crisp color. They could use a cleaning damp, um, like a something white done in between the stones. All right. So anyways, if anybody wants these, let me just stop and put a price in for these. Um, let me see what I... I paid for them and so forth. Um, okay, this is good. yeah. Congrats, Irene. It's a cute little bird. Sixteen, if anybody wants them. See, they have the good kind of salt tooth too. Um, yes, Irene, I put that in your bag already. I did. Thank you. I put it in a bag for you with your name. He's in his, it's in its own bag, so it doesn't get messed up. I will put it in there. Okay, thank you, son. I do have it for you, though, with your name on, on it. All right. Okay. Thank you. Let me put these in a bag. Yeah, I'm on top of it here. I am. Paying attention. I've been able to follow the chat. There's not a whole lot of people here, not a whole lot of talking. Um, you get gnats. I get them mainly from the bananas. I mean, my kitchen gets a little hot when I turn the air conditioner off. And um, 
Oh, they've been in us kind of older than they should have been. I, I'm guilty. Okay, there's the back of this. This is a gold tone and enameling. I don't know the dating else, maybe 70s or something, possibly. I'm not really sure. Um, the stones are kind of prone to kind of not, you know how they do that. They're in there, though. They're clear rhinestones. They're nice. This is a nice little, like, little bouquet. There they are again. I'm going to get off here in a minute. All right, this is, <laughs> good God. Um, I'll solve that. That's bothering me. Two inches. You're welcome, Sung Lee. This is two inches, and it's pretty. My shirt's not going to look too good with it. My hair needs done as well. Um. So I pulled up. But anyways, it's nice. Let me put a, um, my goodness, a, they're really heavy on harassing people. What the hell is up with that? Um, let me put it. How about, how about 18 on that if anybody wants it? It's nice. It's nice. It's in good shape. It looks new. There's the back. It's well made. It's the coverings. Um, that would be 18. I'm almost to the end. I'll recap what I have. I have crowns for 40 mid-century silver tone textured necklace I can show. And this is cool because it's like you can see it on all sides kind of. And this is the way... Either wear it like you can wear it any way you want on your clothes. We'll pass on that. All right, let me show the Smith Century necklace. This is um, Crown Safari. It has a spring ring. It's not Crown Safari, excuse me. It's Safari um, with a coffee ring. I don't know the dating on this. I'd have to look and wait a minute. I see something going on with it too. Okay, I can't sell this. two in a two layer bottle okay i spray alcohol water too that works if you ever tried that i can't sell this there's an imperfection on this look at that that happens sometimes so it'll get fixed or i'll give it to somebody for craft and it's how to fix it it's probably if you get the earrings to it, it's like a 60 dollar item together or more some people charge insane prices but I can't sell it like that. Um, this is Ancline. This is more modern. It's a shooting star, gold tone, and silver tone on that. This is a buy it now on this of, um, I don't remember what I put down, but I'll make something on top of my head. It's, a, it's 10. 10 bucks. It's metal, silver tone, and gold tone. There's the back. It's signed AK. That's the more modern Ancline. And, you know, the older, like, 80s and so forth had her full name on it. This is one in... From my understanding, I'm not, I haven't delved that deeply into it, but one and three quarter inches. And it's a shooting star. Just like that. Or would it be like this? I don't know. It's backwards, isn't it? All right. That's an incline, more modern one, 2000s, I think. After the 2000s. All right. I don't know. My, I'm not moving too fast. Right? If somebody says they want it, they can have it. I'm, I'm done with that. Um, I'm going to recap in a minute because I don't have a whole lot left. Oh, God, I, I got through everything. Okay, I showed this. This was $30. This is multiple stones. It's 30, 32, 32 inches, and it was $30. There's a lot of different stones on there. I don't know what they all of them are. We have amethyst, um, rose quartz, uh, regular quartz. I don't know all the moves, but that was 30 bucks. It's a, str a stranded for a lot of different stones, at least six different ones on there. All right, there was that. I'm going to go fast, okay? I'm keeping the possible Art Nouveau piece because I, I want to look at that. I don't know what it is. I could try that idea too, Marie, though, because then it would be, I wouldn't have to spray chemicals around. Yeah. I had, um, I mean, I you know, the alcohol, even though it's not really... Horrible, I don't think. This is the Monet. Um, this is a 1980s Monet. Uh, it has the signature down here. And it's really in good shape. It's not scratched up or faded whatsoever. I think this was 18 to 20 inches. If any 
anybody's interested, they can just uh, say interested once and I can measure. How's that? Um, it's long. I think it was like 18 to 20 inches. It's a 1980s Monet and it's in good shape. It's not faded. It's not scratched. This was $38. It's a good piece. It's weighted, has a good weight to it, and it's well made. I have the links back there. That was 38. Okay. Then I had a Chico's that I can't remember what I said for this one. Oh, to be honest. I'll show it real quick, though. I think it's nice. I said 28 for this, I think. There it is. That's Chico's. And it says lovely. Black faceted glass, and those look like peacock, like, uh, Pearls, but they're not. There's a combination of glass, plastic, and um, metal. It's really nice. This was pretty long. I forget exactly, but um, okay, Jeannie, let me measure it. Want me to measure it for you? It's nice. Look at it. It's lovely. I have a long necklace. My Monet, the Monet I kept is long and fabulous. Um, reminds me of this, but smaller. And this is, yeah, it, you can wear it 18 to 22 inches. Okay, Jeannie. Thank you. You wanted the Chico's, right? For 28 Jeannie Napier. Thank you. You're welcome. It's, it's really nice. It had its weighted, too. It has a good weight to it. Some of their jewelry goes rather high. If you don't, you might know that. You can, I saw that one, I think. Okay, I have a couple more. Well, I think I, I showed a lot of it um, just recently. I don't know who else been here. But these things, these are 10. These are clip earrings. I don't remember what I charged for them, but if, I'll say 10 bucks right now verbally here. These are faces, and there's some kind of resin. I don't know what they are, but they're cool silver tone. Silver paint, like enamel over that, and black background. And they're like an inch and a half. They're clips. Kind of neat. They're different. I don't know what those are. Those heads. I don't know if they're supposed to be. So those are 10. I had this. This is sterling silver. I think I wanted, I asked for, this is a Myler 925 chain. There's the precious metal um, clasp. It's signed 925 Myler Italy, and it has for me links in the middle in, in between you have three silver and then one vermeil and it keeps it's continuous there this is sterling and amethyst and um blue topaz it was 23 grams total of weight that's right 23 grams total and 45 for this if anybody wants it i don't know if it goes real great with the chain but the chain's fantastic in itself Myler Italy has um there there's um it's decent silver, but that's what did I say 45 if anybody's interested. This looks like it's like knotted up. It is sterling. I tested it. It's marked 925 up on the bill right here. Here's the bill. It's a little different looking. Could probably put it on another chain and this one can probably be worn alone. I think it needs shined up a little bit, but it's a nice chain with the vermeil on it. All right, that was 45, and that's just about it, I think. Well, I had this. I think this is Bakelite. This is made in ink. I didn't put pass up to Well, I don't have to. I stopped saying things. Here, pass on that one. Um, made in France, and I believe this is um, celluloid, not Bakelite. It's very light. This was, uh, this is 12, if anybody wants it. It's almost four inches. It's like you can pull all your hair up in the back, like pull it back on your head. And this works. Okay. All right, done with that. Let's see what else. I just showed these. These were an eight beer. I said 20. These are really nice uh, textured earrings. The plating is very good. Nothing's faded. They're textured. They are screw back clips. They were 20. They're an eight beer. I don't know the exact dating on them, honestly. I'm thinking 1980 but not 100% certain. So those were 20 bucks. And everything else I feel like i just shown, um, except for this Napier. 
necklace. This is Napier with a pat a fold over class sign patent pending. This is 1980s. Looks like silver plating, but I don't know. I couldn't find it in a book and I couldn't confirm it whether it is or not. So it's silver tone and gold tone. And this was like 18 inches, I believe. This was $38 too. If anybody's interested, I'll measure it. You can just say measure. How's that? Um, and there's that. Here's what it looks like. It like I said, it's a fold over clasp right there. Patent pending. Um, Napier patent pending with a number on the clasp. And you can look in the book easily and date it. This is 1980s necklace. I couldn't find a necklace, but I know in a patent pending uh, fold over clasp was being used. But so there's that. Um, that's it. Well, and then these two bracelets. These were 14 each. And these are like, um, that's my wrist is like a six, a little over six actually. So. I don't know, maybe up to an 8-inch comfortably on these. They are 14 each. They're glowy. This is plastic. I think it's loose sight. So those were 14 each. So that's it. That's about to caps it off unless I pull a box of something new on. What else is there? I don't know. That's it. I think I did enough. Do you guys think? Is there anything anybody would like to see? Maybe. How about the rubber duck again? I'm joking. I did look at this big. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. This is fantabulous. 40 bucks for the Estee Lauder um, turtle. This is an Estee Lauder. It's gold plated. And I don't know what the type of plastic it is, but this is a perfume. Um, it's signed Estee Lauder. It's a perfume compact. Okay. Um, you want these ones? Okay. What did I say for them? What did I say for these? Do you remember? Just tell me. Give me the price and I'll. It was 24. Is that right or was it more? I can't remember. All right. This is the Estee Water Compact. Thank you. Thank you, um, Tina, uh, Laura. I appreciate it. Uh, but anyways, this is a perfume compact. Okay. Thank you, Alina. Right there. Estee Lauder. 40 bucks if anybody wants a little turtle fella. You have a little bit of space in there for something. Yeah, I will. I will. I watched the baby tomorrow. I can't wait. He's crawling now. I'm going to put this um, across the mat and have him. He has a big mat in the middle of the floor to crawl on here because he just started. But he says duck. It's one of the words he can say. He's eight months. He says duck, jump. He has a couple words, cat. But that's going to go on the floor, and I'm waiting to see how excited he gets seeing that. All right, so nobody wants to turtle. I'll put them back on the backdrop there in the background. Thank you, um, Elena. Thank you, everybody, for coming. I think that's, I think I showed everything recapped that I think, oh, besides the glass bracelet for 20, it's glass, definitely. It's not stone. And that's a little bigger. Look. Oh. Yeah. I will. Thank you. Then Eva has camp 8 until 5. They're, they're really working as kids. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, so that's that's it. But it was a good sale. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Yeah, he'll like that in the bath, in the pool too. They're getting a pool for the backyard. We'll put it in there. He's he's adorable. He's just he's so cute. Okay. Yeah, thank you, thank you, everybody, for coming. I appreciate it and for your purchases. I will invoice tomorrow. I think I'm going to do it really early in the morning. If not, it'll get done when I get home early afternoon. I may thrift, although the jewelry's starting to pile up. Like, but I have to go see if there's anything fantastic. You know how that is. Because there might be. And here comes the pornography again. <laughs> That's very silly. I'm going to fix that tomorrow. I might take my laptop with me over my daughter's and set that. All right, guys. Have a good evening. Thank you for coming. And I will talk to everybody later. Thank you. Good night.